has come to our family. So we are now you made it the point last time mm -hmm. that at the beginning of every single one of these I've said we're gonna die. I did. <laughs> so I would like to reiterate we're gonna, we gonna die. die. Yeah. And maybe. now you've joined me. No, no, I'm just the, I'm just trying to make you doing. feel good. <laughs> so we got we're, this in the bag. We're back. We <laughs> narrowly escaped the prophet's stupid yeah. pews of death. Yeah, we did. So we are literally licking our wounds here. The crusader has no less than 23 damage on him. The highwayman has 22. At death's door. Um, he is at death's door, yes. That's what I'm saying. Um, the okay. vestal... He's all right. And the grave robber, yeah. however. And we got a lot of stress on the board. Yes, that's true. You guys have a lot of stress. We did pretty good on that respect, but yeah. the Vestal is really stressed out. She's been working her tail off, uh -huh. um, keeping it's us true. alive. So We've gone through three acts now. Yes. All the way through three acts, three bosses, the necromancer. Yep. The fanatic, yeah. the prophet. Oh, he was a jerk. And the prophet. And prophet leading was right up. We're going back to town, and now we're going into the darkest dungeon. And the darkest dungeon has... We randomly chose... We rolled percentile dice. Because uh -huh. there's three ones that you can choose from. So we, we, we rolled and got a 78, which put us in the last bracket, which was the... Shuffling, Shuffling horror. horror is our next boss. So that's who we're going after now. And if I'm understanding it correctly, you know, if, if I'm wrong, just tell me. We're going to have one dungeon that we go into that has this dude in it after we leave the hamlet. And then after we, as you said earlier, after we take care of him or after we beat him, yep. we're going to have one more dungeon to go through. During so which we... Seeing, it's not a dungeon, so we just finished a boss okay. fight. We're going to do one dungeon. It's twice as big. 16 rooms. Um, we got to get to the boss at the end of 16 rooms instead of the end of 8. Wait, we got to go through all 16 rooms? No. We got to make our way there somehow, some way. Okay. At least okay. Mm -hmm. We don't have to go through all 16. And there are uh, a new type of room, an excavation, um, that we can go in and it'll give us a little bit of help. Oh, but, uh, really? Yeah. Okay. There's All one right. room or a couple rooms in there that are actually good for us. It's kind of ironic that we have to get to the darkest dungeon before something gives us a little help. Well, they they've been down there. The archaeologists <laughs> were excavating and they Got left it. their tools. Oh. Or they, or they okay. died in there, left their tools they and died their supplies. In there. <laughs> we're gonna go in, to take their supplies, and go in. So we're gonna go through this one dungeon, <laughs> fight the shuffling horror. Oh boy. Um, once he's done, we're gonna go back to the hamlet one more time. We're not going to even draw an event card. We're going to get four days to do the best we can to get prepped, and we're going to go right into the Heart of Darkness room encounter. At the end of that encounter, we will oh, just relive. right into the room right itself. Into we the, don't even have to look for it. Nope. We're we know exactly where it is. Put the dungeon tile down, and we got to fight it. I'm in, so. like Flynn. But this is okay. So right now, we have to defeat the Shuffling Horror. 
to move on. Yep, just like every other boss. If you die to the boss, doesn't matter. If you got ten guys waiting for you, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. You're done. So, so we've made you know the colloquialism checkers or wreckers. Yep. But that is absolutely true right now. That's Either we defeat true. him, if or it's done. If we don't defeat him, we don't get to fight the heart of darkness. And the next it. team gets sent in. Yep. No. Yeah, we started at level one. Alpha <laughs> squad is done. Mm-hmm. So then we got to move on to beta. Yep. All right. At the beginning. So. Well, here we go. We are actually, we just, t in the timeline of our journey here, we just came back to the hamlet yeah. from defeating uh, the prophet. But before we come back to the hamlet, we do have three bandages that we can use to kind of heal up some of our peeps. Um, and we don't have a lot of money. No, we got 32. 32 bucks, but that's fine. We so. did get... Three extra experience. So our best heal at the sanitarium is ten, which isn't great. So um, you might as well take. Let the let's get the highwayman off death's door so he can actually walk back on his own. Sure. Is that uh, yep. kosher? Yep. All right. So That's we'll good. use all three of those and put him back to nineteen damage. <laughs> he's ready to go in. <laughs> he's, he's like, can we please just go, please? <laughs> He just wants to go right into the dungeon. He doesn't want to stop at town. <laughs> no, that's not what he's saying at all. Okay, so now he has 19, not 22. So he's he's feeling much better. We all still right. have two guys here waiting in the stagecoach mm -hmm. if we need them before the boss fight. Obviously, if one of our guys died before we get to him, we can still bring in somebody to help. But once we get into the boss fight, it's all or nothing. And yes, he uh, was thinking the Crusader at that particular moment in time. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Although there's been so many times where there's one one bad roll in the very first, in the uh, Prophets, no, not the Prophets area, but in the Fanatics area, yeah. and she would have been gone. So yeah, that's true. You never know. Um, it could happen quick. So we, and we're back. The first thing is i got to turn in my Stalwart. I thought you had one too, but maybe that was from the week before. So i got to turn in my Stalwart. Unfortunately, um, being that it's a Virtue, I get a positive Quirk. But I have three quirks already, so the only thing I can replace is an, another positive quirk. So I'm not actually going to take it. It's quick reflexes, so if I get a tra trap, I get plus two dodge, which would be nice. But here I take less bleed, so you know what? Did you just put that on the bottom? I did. I am going to swap it. All right. Those traps are nasty. Level three <laughs> dungeon, the trap's damage is six or twelve, depending on if it's a... Jeez. Right? Depending on if it's a uh, crit, so this is not right. I won't. I don't want to take that damage. So all right, that's been turned in. So this is gonna flip back over to white, and you're good to go. Damn, and she's good to go. All right. All right, and then we're gonna draw a Hamlet event. All right. Unsettling darkness. When darkness forms shapes in the horizon, making all candle lights dim. This was one such week. One of unsettling darkness. So we start at level four. So we four. start at level four. Torch. When we go back in. When we go back in. Right. And we get three days, though. Okie dokie. So. Three days of play time. Got a lot of healing. All right, so now we're going to roll for this harbor master dude. <laughs> I don't know. The groundskeeper. <laughs> groundskeeper. He goes to 10. Yeah, he really likes the he nomad He really wagon. hates the nomads. No, he's hanging out with the gypsies all day long. <laughs> like... <laughs> He just goes, hangs out with the gypsies. So we can, he, he, he's, he's taking their time so that we can't get what's So we can't buy trinkets. Got it. All right. So that's that. Okay. Um, so you got We lots of only healing. have 32 bucks. Yeah. You need to get the Vestal. I need to get the Vestal up one level. Here. Mm -hmm. To the guild. So we'll stay away from that. Um, and you're going to need. We can just do that right away. At so, yeah, go ahead. You need no, six bucks and five experience. Four bucks. Four bucks and three experience to get just her healer to level three for now. Oh, okay. Um, oh, yeah. I can but do you two. can do both, though, I can right? I do two, yeah. Yeah, so that'd be six so bucks. Six bucks. Ooh. And five experience. Okay. Well, that was a big chunk. I mean, obviously, we want to get a level no, up. No, that's fine. It's fine. So we got 20. I mean, she's a, in left. large part, she's, she's the reason we're still here. Um, and I was thinking awesome. about this in between. The Grave Robber has unleashed a ton of ton damage, of damage. Yep. because of Blight. Yep. Blight and Bleed cannot be ignored. 
No, 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 not at all. And the cool thing is, is when we get into expansion and stuff like that, you're going to go to the cove where everything puts a ton of blight on you and mm -hmm. is immune to a lot of blight. And then it's going to be a whole different story. You're going to need a ton of bleed there. Yeah, you know, so. that's cool. Um, anyways, I lost my tra train of thought. Five experience down. Yep. And then on top of that, did you grab her level three card? We'll grab that in a second. Yeah, it's right over here. All oh, right on. It's from there. It's in that stack. Perfect. Okay, well oh, that's her turn anyway. That's her turn. All right, well, I spent a lot of cash on the Crusader last time. But we've got to get him back up to health. So we're going to uh, come here to... Now, the... The profits minus three stress is technically still in effect right now. The profit, yes. <laughs> okay, so I'm coming here to the sanitarium for three bucks to heal ten. Although I think when I get this game, I'm gonna house rule it that when he's already dead, that he doesn't I know, stress right? us out anymore. That makes more sense. <laughs> that I don't know. Honestly, sense, that but... could be the, the 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 final rule, but yeah. Uh, Yep. Okay. So you got rid of ten health. Yeah, ten health. Uh, heal right ten. On. Yeah. Okay. For her, a little bit of healing, a little bit of stress relief. But like you said, stress relief is really at a premium. To get rid of mm -hmm. six stress, that's nine. Re bucks. Remember, we still have my Zilla's speech. Mm -hmm. That will heal everybody that's for five. Nine it's going to take the entire day to do it, but we could do that on that last day. I also day. would like to get rid of these two negative quirks, which is five bucks. Mm -hmm. So then the question is, I think I'm going to go right here with her. I, I don't know what you're going to do with no, him you, yet. You, you're fine. But I was going to go here with her and buy fine. us two extra dice. Okay. Seems like we're going to need Three them. bucks. Yeah. You showed yourself now that you got to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No worries. Okay. All right. Um, the Highwayman then, he doesn't have any negative quirks. No. Uh, anything like that. Just the stress. Um, just that stress. But nine is only minus six. I don't know if that's worth it. Yeah. I really don't. I know. So I think what I'm just going to do is... Uh, a long gonna, dungeon ahead of us, though. Well, we could burn a whole day and do his thing, is what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah, we can. I think we can. Yeah. So I'm just going to come here and to my Hamlet skill and clean my guns, mm -hmm. which is going to buff me for six. There you go. Thank you. That'll okay. give me some more pluses to yeah. crit. It's a good idea. Um, the differences in the Hamlet over time are going to be pretty substantial, I think, especially with different characters. Mm -hmm. All right, so down to two. Everybody comes back. And then we're going to spend a whole day... You want to do that now, or yeah, you want let's to do, just it, do it now? I don't just do oh, it now. Actually, let's roll and see where it goes yeah. first. It's a good idea. Four. Four. He's gonna go to the sanitarium. So yes, <laughs> let's do that. Our place to heal. That sucks. Yeah, but well, we're gonna go in pretty beat up. <clears throat> yes, we are. Okay. Um. All right. So we'll take the. We'll do. I'll go first, and I'll make a zealous speech. And that means that uh, we are spending the entire day doing this. Day ends immediately. All heroes get minus five stress. Okay. At least our stress will be decent going in. One, two, three, four, five. All right. That is day two. All right. And there he goes over to, to the blacksmith. Eight. Nine. All right. So this is the last day. We need some heals over there. You're going to have to take the heal. Yeah, I'm going to have to, with the I'm going to try to get rid of two quirks. With the high so. women, I'm going to have to come here, spend three bucks, so yeah. I'll get seven back. I'm going to spend three as well. No, I'm going to spend five of that, excuse me, to get rid of these two negative quirks. Man, we are bloodied. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're bloodied, and health is at a premium right now. I think... We got 12 bucks left. I still got to add one skill here and level one up. I, so. I say we, we gain some more provision dice. Okay. 
I agree. So that's three bucks. Two dice. So. Okay. That leaves us with just the grave robber. Let's see. I could do an upgrade. I mean, it's only two bucks. To, it's four bucks to upgrade. Does she have enough? One, two, three, four. Um, yeah, I might as well. I'm gonna upgrade two of her things to level three. I guess. Grave robber. Grave robber. Yeah. There's nothing else for her to do, so we might as well go in as tough as we can. Pick to the face. Pick to the face. All right. So she's All right, gonna so level how much up. is that? Four. Four. Four bucks. Mm -hmm. The rest of her experience. You know, you'd think these Hamlet people would start giving us discounts. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because, I mean, they, come on. They're to start charging us more. They're like, hey. I man, know, right? You're doing nice so good. Right now. Okay. All right, so. Vestal needs to grab a level one skill. And I need to level up two of those. And then I want to stay positive. I do. We got this. But I'm looking at our stuff. Take and I'm your like, two guys back. We're good. We're going to die, man. No, you... Game over, man. Game over. Let's see. That's an attack and a buff. She can just heal herself. Hmm. Illuminate. It's so hard to decide what to... Make sure you say what you're deciding on. Okay. So I know right what on. overlay to put up there. It's either the hand of light, this one, mm -hmm. or the left hand, or the left hand, or the right hand or the left hand. Or no, it's the mm -hmm. it's the hand of it's light, the hand which of is light. the one that's showing up over here. Yeah. Or I gotcha. <laughs> or the mace bash. <laughs> or the mace bash. The hand of light. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Or illumination. Oh man, we've got five bucks. As a group. All right, I'm gonna take illumination for now. And All gotta, right, illumination it is. I, I am also, packing up the Hamlet over here. And I also get to level up one of those items. You're packing up the Hamlet. I'm leveling I up. I am. Let's see. We like judgment. Obviously, we like divine grace. Let's do divine grace three. Ooh. As our level up. Again, that's a clock on the other side of the wall. Oh, we're at Divine Grace 3. And if there you heard it, you heard my wife giggling because <laughs> I've talked about how that song, that Christmas song, carries through to these mics. So you're hearing it. So Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas in a vase. All right, I'm going to do Divine Comfort 3, actually. Wait, you changed it again? Oh no. Illumination. Okay. Divine Comfort 3. Okay, there we go. Okay. Alright, the vessel's done. Now I gotta level up two of hers. But first of all, we have. Uh, Don't worry already, about it. Do your stuff. I already first. picked off the stat. You can set this up. So we are going against a shuffling horror. Go ahead. It's all yours. Nothing escapes the dungeon's corruption. All right, here we go. Nothing escapes the dungeon's corruption but the most feared. Terrifying beast that lurks within every shadow is the shuffling horror. It embodies the true nature of the thing that sleeps within the darkest dungeon. Oh, it's the thing. Maybe it's... That's the thing that the prophet saw that yeah. drove him batty. Uh, it embodies the true nature of the thing that sleeps within the darkest dungeon, a parasite that is slowly consuming the flesh of its host, replacing it with its own cancerous growths. So, Merry Christmas, kids. We have the shuffling horror here. You know we what? We have the shuffling horror. I'm gonna have to shuffle some stuff over here all so right. we can make room for all so these. For the grave guys. robber, she upgraded pick to the face level two. Pick to the face and toxin trickery level two. Sweet. All right, so shuffling horror. 
is right there. Shuffling horror, you say. All right. So this is our shuffling horror quest then. So the quest here is one of the three bosses since it goes right into a boss dungeon. Mm -hmm. So we are the flame. The boss for this quest is shuffling horror plus the defensive growth. Uh, defeating the Shuffling Horror will prevent the Ancestor from using its second form. So, the end boss, the Heart of Darkness, has four forms. Um, depending on which of these three bosses you fight in this round, um, one of those forms will be disabled. Got it. So he's going to have three forms for us to fight. Okay. And we have... What do we got? We've got one uh, boss room, of course, the purple. One boss room. Three dark rooms, or three empty rooms, rather. Three empties. And then three darks. Three empties. Now, these are excavation rooms. When okay. we go there, we get to pick up four provision dice and roll them and add them to our provisions. That is... Straight up. Lackluster, but okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> lackluster. All right, we'll take it out. These are empty rooms. No. We want to play No, Iron we Bowl. need it. We need it. <laughs> But I was like, you said they were going to help us, and it's like four provision dice. Four provision dice? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, we've also got three combat rooms, three curios rooms, and three trap rooms. Three trap rooms. Oh, my goodness. Like I said, three darkness rooms? Yep. So three we got to take... Do we, we have to put it on the... on the. So he's going to land one, two, three, one of four. these... Nope. Oh, one, one of, of these, these three. three. So you're going to take all the rest, you're going to shuffle them up, and you're going to put that with two of those... Let's see, and you said three Oh, curious. I gotcha. So, okay, I gotcha, I gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. gotcha. I'm going to shuffle all so the rest. So we got to shuffle all these together first. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm starting to pick up what you're laying down. And you're going to take two of those out and shuffle it with this. Okay. Okay, so we got uno, dos, tres. And then one of these three has mm -hmm. to get... And this is really hard to... Watch, I, watch I, the ball in the cup. Come I on. think I don't remember which one it is now. I'll tell you what. Why don't you pick it? What's this? I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody has a clue now. That's how. So, that's that's what the Vestal does when she does dazzling <laughs> that's fingers. Sparkle fingers. That's sparkle fingers uh, right there. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So now is this is where I am actually going to make it super hard for us to get to our objective, and. We'll have to see after that, because this prototype does not fit on this board. What? No, these, these prototype tokens are too big for this size board. That's all I meant. But that's okay. As long as I get it... <laughs> My goodness. There's so many rooms. This is not funny anymore. I won't go home. You think we'd be able to have a better road map than this? We're just lucky this one can't be a boss room. Because <laughs> then we'd have to go halfway across the dungeon. The problem is... Uh, uh, now that's random, right? There's another, you know, different layout, so... Although they're fairly similar in in that effect. But. These tokens are so big, though. Yeah, agreed. Yes, and agreed. We'll put, you know we'll put cool. a little suit of armor to talk represent to, us. Talk to the boss. We want, a, we want little acrylic tokens that you can see through from this side, but you can't see what's on the other side. <laughs> yeah, that's possible. Okay. Right on. So there's our dungeon. We do have a camp wow, of 20. that's significantly huge. We do have a camp of 20. Nice. Oh, I lied. We get four provision dice, and we get a camp of eight in an excavation room. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay, now we that's... We do. We get a camp of eight in That's an a bit more room. significant, yeah. But for all the rest of you, if you'd like to see every monster in this pack, they're all level threes. There's no more level ones. There's no more level twos. He's loving that fact. He's they're pointed it out to me threes. twice now. And once for I don't love so. it. If you're not positive, you might as well just curl up in the corner, turn out the torch. <laughs> One person did say <laughs> that they are looking forward to being able to call up their friends and say, Hey... Let's get punished in the darkest Let's dungeon today. Let's get punished today. in the darkest dungeon today. 
All right. Well, there we go. Um, I think we just have one connection point there, right? Wow. I I don't I can't That's tell rough. because yeah, there two connection points. We're gonna have to like yeah move things. All around. right, two connection points from our centerpiece. There is left and right. Okay. So so we either <laughs> go <laughs> throw these first. Well, uh, we're scouting. Oh no, we're not we gotta, scouting. We're gonna get some. We're gonna get provisions. Provisions back. first. I didn't mean to do that. That was unplanned. All right, I got a DD, a torch, some wow. bandages, a bunch of, got a bunch oh. of antidotes, a couple of torches, got no couple shovels, got a couple wounds. All right, well, this is gonna have to be some a shovel. Food, one food. We're taking one food into Man, a giant dungeon. We already done eight. All right, we do a shovel. For I made a food. shovel. Yeah. Remember, our light starts at level four. Yeah. Which we haven't minded too much. There are a couple of modes when you start your campaign. Um, you can um, play one of the modes is you can, everybody gets to kind of like an easier mode. Not everybody gets to pick one of their sides. They just roll one and then they get to pick one. Yeah. So. That's easy mode though. That's easy mode. There's also a hard mode. Um, you don't want to know what that well, is. you don't yet. roll provision <laughs> dice. <laughs> You don't go in for Asian. Yeah, you just All you get is a knife and a ribbon to tie around your a forehead. A ribbon? A knife and a ribbon. Yep. Okay, Rambo. All right. That's weird <laughs> that you actually made that connection. That's exactly what I was thinking I about. heard it. <laughs> I knew it. All right, we're going to uh, take yeah, one gonna stress. Stress, stress. We are going to... And we get to f turn over the... No, oh, look, it's scout. another door. That's one of those excavation rooms. Wow, look at that. We might need that right off the bat. And a trap. Okay. Excavation room and a trap. Well, mm. I say we go excavation room. Yeah. We can use shoot. that eight heels. Now watch. Trap, 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 trap. Could trap. Be. <laughs> I'm just kidding. There's only two more out some, there. We can do some backtracking. All right, so we get four more. We get a camp of eight, and we get four more provision dice right we now. We do. Okay. Although, yep, we do. But okay. we got to roll these we things. We got to roll these first. Ugh. Alright, All right. I got rubble. Crusader. Trap. A trap. And the dark. Dark okay. ass. Well, starting with the Crusader. Trap. Remember. I can use my. Accuracy of eight. Yeah. Your chance of one. So it's eight minus my two, or is that already. Nope, yeah, it's eight minus your two. So okay. accuracy of six. Six. Crit chance of one. Chance of one. I know I'm gonna roll the crit. I'm Damage is either six or twelve. We're still technically a level three dungeon. Six. Three. Okay. All right. Six damage. Six damage. I can take that. <laughs> Two thirds the way dead. So six damage. Is, yeah. That's the way to start out. Hey, look what I found. Ouch! Mm hmm. Or mm -hmm. the Vestal's gonna fall in the same trap right after you trigger it. <laughs> and then the darkness, I have to take stress and. It's either two stress, or we burn a torch, or we lose a light level. Um. How much stress? Two? Two. Okay. Alright. So right we here. got rubble. Rubble's three damage and three stress. Or I burn a shovel, which I'm probably just going to do that. Hmm. Okay. And then a trap. So she has quick reflexes, so at a trap, she gets plus two dodge. Ooh. So her dodge is four. Ooh. Ooh. Right. So you better roll it, though, because you... Yeah, yeah, I know. Cause I, I can let I'm, you roll for me. <laughs> crit chance one, accuracy four. Mm. That's a five. Good. That's a miss. That's cool. All right. So that means we successfully made it to the first excavation room. So we actually pull the room off. We get, like I said, a camp of eight. Mm -hmm. And we get four of these to add okay. to our stash. That's not exactly what we wanted, but we'll take the torch. <laughs> we, got, we found some more food. I don't, know. There you go. I don't know if I want to it's eat that food. It's been good. down here for a while. It's been down here for a while. <laughs> Okay, and we get a camp of eight, camp of and then eight. this room has been exhausted. Mm -hmm. So, 
May I use it's all the health to heal yeah. some health? It's all health, I think. So I'll go uh, four here and then four over here as well. I mean, I hope they don't go right after the Vestal, but she heals herself <clears throat> with a lot of different things. So she'll take her chances. So that's eight, eight, okay. eight health. All right, we have one path. So that's straight stress, up. Stress, 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 stress for. And that's this one right yep. here now. Oh, look, you guys get to see it first. Combat room. Combat room. Yay, Bob. Here we go. So we can either run back to the trap or we can go to the combat room. We're we going to do the combat room. No, we got to go. We know that dude we is gotta up go here up. somewhere. We, we got to get up there, man. Yep. All right. So here we go. Let's explore that dungeon. Okay. Let's move this back down here because it's going to be a while for right a little bit. So I'll go ahead and move him up here, but now we're going to roll. Crusader, come on. Dang it, not another trap. Highwaymen. Oops, right. <laughs> oh, wow, three traps. Okay, starting with you. We got one shovel left. Um, I got fit. Can I, can, can Crusader use his shovel? Yep. Because he's already got 15. Health. I know. We're going to go into a battle, and he's going to be the punching bag. Right, he is. Now him, uh, he's got a... So it's going to be 8 minus 3, so 5. 5. Um, 1. 5, Chrysanthemum's 1. Nice. Yeah. Nada. Same with her. 5 and 1. 5 accuracy. <gasps> no! There's the crit. So her stress is going to go up. She's going to take 12 damage. That puts her at 17 out of 19. We did not need that to happen. <laughs> Ouch. Okay. Dang it. That was not a good trap. You guys like jumped over the top of it. She's like, what are you looking at? <laughs> Bam. Don't step there. <laughs> what? Step here? All right. I'm going to burn a torch. Oh, I didn't get rid of my... I didn't get rid of my disease last time. She's still bulimic, so I'm gonna burn a torch okay. to take a curio, please. All right, let me go ahead and give these a little bit of shuffle. We were looking through them. I don't want the bookshelf on top again. I'm just <laughs> I don't know what the bookshelf has on it. <laughs> <laughs> the bookshelf. There we go. All right, so she would get stressed. She doesn't get that. Negative quirk. She doesn't get that. Bleed. She doesn't get that. I just get a level three trinket. A level three trinket. Well, that's good. A solar crown. Ooh. Plus two virtue chance if, uh, the, uh, if the torch, torch is, is higher less than three. is higher than three. Yeah. Huh. That's plus two virtue chance if the torch is higher than three, and then to flip it over, you take negative three stress if the torch is higher than three. Can we like sell these for cash? You because can, yeah. that's like we horrible. can sell it for cash. So, in, in the Hamlet, I think we talked about just a hair last week. We really didn't buy those because mostly the Gravekeeper was yeah. um, hogging it. But right. to buy a level 1, which we only can buy a level 1 because we are only leveled up to 1. Yeah. But to buy a level 1, it's 4 bucks. To sell 1, it's 2. To buy a level 2, it's 6 and 3. And then 8 and 4 for a level 3. Got Although, it. we don't have a big enough trinket shop for that. Mm. But. Okay. We are going to the combat room. Uh, we'll take our beautiful Darkest Dungeon uh, encounter deck. And we want the Evil Eye. The what? The Evil Eye. That's what it says. That's not even okay. That's what the map is called. That's that's yeah. not okay. Check out the map. Oh. <laughs> that's just not cool. Okay. That's All right. So the Evil Eye. Here we go. Uh, evil gaze. Every place that has the A, so it's this one right here, the A, heroes ending their turn here, take a negative quirk. Oh! <laughs> yes! A hero can spend two actions here to destroy the eye and gain a positive quirk, and all heroes gain minus five uh, wow. stress. Minus so all that's heroes. cool, yeah. All heroes gain minus so five. I can get there and smash it. Then we have these B areas, like right here, here, and here. Oh, Which up here as well. Half of them. 
And heroes ending their turn here suffer plus two stress. Oh, so, man. Yeah. All right. Not so we got two safe bosses. Spots. What we're, let's put her in the back back here so that... Okay. All right. Here we go. Let's populate these out. Dude. First is... one is a defensive growth. Oh, my. I haven't even looked at these things yet. Nice. It's just tentacles climbing a pillar of spikes. Just. Just. And he wants to be in the back. Um, crowd control. So he likes crowded rooms to attack. What do I do with the list? There we go. All right. An ascended witch. He's only 17 health. He's only 17 health. Yeah. He's got two dodge. But he's yeah, got accuracy guys. 12 on on unbreakable or no, unbearable trimmers. Mm -hmm. And we all get plus two. Oh, he's a stress monster. He's a stress, yeah. Oh no. Alright, then we get an ascended witch. Now you remember our pretty little acolytes. They've grown up. Or well, this is her big sister. <laughs> They've grown up. Ascended Witch has a dodge of four. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now you know why we need not excavation rooms. Her damage dealt isn't that bad though. Her hit points are pretty high. 18. 18, yeah, it's not bad. All right, we got a malignant growth. Ooh. Why are they all coming up here? Oh, because that's where the thing is. That's where they all get to start. He's got 28 health. And he's an attacker. Accuracy of 10, damage 11 with a whole bunch of bleed. Ouch. Okay. Last but not least is the cultist priest. So here's where you find out if you've leveled up your characters enough to withstand, right? We have not. We have not. We, uh... <laughs> We took at least, oh, look at this guy. Man, he's pretty. Pretty, what in the world? You keep on using on that here? word. I do not think it means what <laughs> it you think it means. It does not mean what I think it means anymore. <laughs> oh my goodness. Gracious. We just went to LV25 and found out that there's another species <laughs> to deal with. Oh my um, goodness. <laughs> all right. Well, there we go. We got a deck. Uh, we got some nasty creatures over there. Crusaders in the front. And he's got 15 health gone. He's half health. Alright, not quite bloody. There you go. Get your D&D &D terms on. He's a little bit less than half. Alright, here we go. Crusader gets to go first. Okay. <laughs> oh wait, we didn't put up. What um, about two treasures? Yeah, that's just a regular treasure. It has yep. a exclamation point next they to it. They all have that. Okay. I just haven't been paying attention. It just says, hey, look at me. Mm -hmm. Come over to I the spike pit. I forgot to populate the board because the I board needs two I know, treasure chests right? in it. Um, so we get two stress if we stand in one of these at the end of our turn. That's correct. Okay. And I get a positive quirk if you end your turn here, but that's what I'm thinking about doing. A negative I'm, quirk. Yeah, uh, yes, that's correct. The negative quirk because I, I'm it. I'm pretty good on that, and then on my next turn I'll just smash it. That's what I'm thinking about doing for my uh, crusader because I don't want to stop at either of these two things. Okay. Um. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my speed stone and get plus one movement, and that'll allow me to go one, two, and um. I'm going to heal myself for my second turn. Oh, good call. Um, crit three. Yeah, yeah. that's a crit. I'll take it. So that's healing five of my stuff here. And the stress so relief. So that's good. And oh yeah, stress. Is that relief. what your heal is? Just five? Yeah. That's a bummer. Yeah, I'm a warrior. I'm not a healer. Yeah. This what is like a pause. This is like a bonus thing that I get. Okay. And so then what did this say at the end? Okay, of so at the end of my turn, I have to take a negative, negative quirk. quirk. Right. So that's over here. 
And what is my negative quirk? I have my weak grip back, of course. Perfect. So every time I crit, I think, right? No, every time you get hit with a crit. Every so time I get hit with a crit, okay. That's what we decided. Um, right. All right. So every time I get hit with a crit, it's plus one stress. Yep. All right, here we go. Ooh, look, Highwayman gets to go next. Highwayman. Um... You still have grape shot. How many people can grape shot hit? Seven. Grape okay. shot can hit um, up to three. Up to three. Okay. Grape shot, and they give them, and it gives them all uh, one debuff. Um, but it's only three damage yeah. each. So. And it is. He does um, have his buff. You can't move. You have to move orthogonal, yep, correct? Yeah, you, you can't move orthogonal. diagonal, correct? So that's the thing. He only. Oh, he does have three movement. He does have three movement now. So I could come here and grape shot blast into here. He will be the closest. But I'm going to do the same. I'm probably going mean, to go the opposite pits, space of you. Spiked pits are going to give him stress. He doesn't want stress because he's already kind of high. Yep. So I've got to move into one of these places yeah. that don't have. He could stay there, but he he wouldn't have range at that point. No, um, because it's it's a one two three four at that point. So I can just come here or here, and then if you do one, I'll take the grave robber to the other one, even though she only has seventeen health. All right, so I'll go here mm. and do a grape shot blast into that. I won't. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so that's going to be plus one crit here. Mm -hmm. Two, so I'm at, at plus two, so it's a uh, crit chance two. And the accuracy of eight. Yeah. So another spot we're going in with a oh level boy, one that's skill is really pretty bad. weak. Yeah, maybe yeah. you want to go pop somebody with a that's good one. Really bad. Especially with the our weakest dodge over there's two. Mm hmm. So maybe pistol shot three instead. Um, point blank shot. The R O. Um, that allows me to push one. I'm, I can't use that. The witch can be have bleed on her. Oh, you're not gonna open pain. Never mind. Mm -mm. All right. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Well, pick your poison, sir. Well, I am doing. Yeah. If you want to focus one of those two back guys, I will focus them with you. Ooh. You got to take the hits from the front ones, though. You got 9, 9, 18, 17. Um, point blank shot can't work. Pistol shot can yeah, work. Yeah. Pistol shot. It's got to be pistol shot. Gets two. So. Huh? Who are you going to shoot? Oh, who am I going to shoot? Mm hmm. Um, nine, let's just go with, uh, the defensive growth. We don't need more stress. Because that's going to give whoever he attacks plus two stress. That heals. So we want, uh, uh. That heals a friend? And oh. Yeah, and this gives a buff to a buddy. Really? So nice. yeah, so this is this person is healing and uh buffing bad dudes. Hence the defensive portion, huh? Yes. So we're gonna shoot him. Okay. In the face, wherever that might be. <laughs> In the end of the tentacle. Five. Okay, so that's uh accuracy eleven. Um so it's only a nine, so that's a hit, so it's nine damage against the defensive growth. I've got it over here. Okay, next up, here we go, the Malignant Growth, he wants to do dirty stuff to us, let's see, he wants to daze the mind of the furthest away, so he has one speed, well he's only got a range of one, so we're just going to move him one space, which one? And he wants to hit... Which one is it? The malignant growth. The little... That's that, this thing. Yep. Globule thing. Yep. That's all he gets. That's his turn. And he would be targeting her. He would be targeting her. But he wants to be one space away. Yep. Got it. 
All right, so the grave robber's up next. I uh, do have to worry about the grave robber's health at 17. I was going to charge right in, but I'm a little bit nervous about that. Um, none of those guys have armor, right? No. No armor values. No armor. But he has how many health left? Is that defensive he's, he's guy? Got, he's got uh, nine, so he's got eight left. He's got eight left. And I'm going to get one hit on him. He doesn't have a blight or anything. He's not. Re he's resistant to bleed and to movement. Uh, or being pushed, rather. But so, not to blight. But not to blight, no. But I can only hit him with seven. So ah, he'll die on his don't turn. Don't kill him. No, I can only hit him with three plus a blight of four. So oh. he won't die. And he'll die on his second turn. Yeah. I can plan on him dying on his second turn. I'm just nervous about how much health she Sending has. Sending her out there. What's the range of? Two. Hmm. Range is two. Um, and if I send her here, she's going to get a negative quirk. The advantage of that negative quirk is then I can heal both of them up with the Vestal. Hmm. So I'm going to be selfish. Or I'm going to be, I don't know what it is. I'm going to go there. I'm going to do a poison dart against that guy, the defensive. Okay. Um, accuracy's twelve. His two, so, so he it's can't ten. miss. Right. Crit chance is three. All right, so that's a hit for three damage, if you would. Yep. And a blight. Four stack of three. Three turns. Is that pretty map? 12? Yeah. Yep. So he'll die at the end of his second turn, but he is going to get one turn. But. Okay. All right. Let's just hope it's not that heal. Right. Does he heal himself or others? No, he, he heals right. others. Cultist Priest with the tentacle coming out of his mouth. Yay, Bob. <laughs> is that his name, Bob? Bob, Bob yes. the Cultist Priest. Okay. Yep. Well, Bob wants to do a Death Lash. Against the most crowded room. Ah, I didn't think about that. Dang it. All right, well, range of one, so he needs to move one space. We'll move him here. Okay. Put him next Let's to see. the highwayman so yeah. the highwayman can open his veins later. All right, accuracy's 11. Crit Let chance, roll this. two. Yep, go ahead. A seven. So that's a hit mm -hmm. on both. Yep. Six damage each. So that puts us at 17, 18. So I'm at death's door. You said how much? Seven or six? Six damage each. Okay. A debuff of one. And one stress each. Hmm. All right. Well, tactically, maybe that wasn't the best idea. Hmm. Oh, and I didn't get my negative quirk. When the torch goes up, I take a stress. I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna get rid of this positive quirk here. Okay. All right. So Vestal goes next. All right. So Vestal is going to. She's gonna be able to move two. She doesn't want to do that. She wants to move one. Move two. She. Ooh. None of those count. Her Ooh. range. Her range for divine comfort is one. Oh, jeez. I don't want to break my second miniature of the. Wait, I didn't break the first one. But. Okay, wow. she's, she's gonna. See how subtle that was? Ah, was that was pretty subtle, smooth. but it still found its mark. Alright, so she's gonna divine comfort these You're two. You're still gonna stay there for spite? I am. Okay. I am. I'm just gonna take the. You, you take get rid it. of that so we can move in the middle there. Got it. Um, Look at that. That's a crit. Ooh. So each of you heal five. Yeah, yeah. Takes her off a of death well, door. Well, you heal and I heal. Yep. The grave robber and the crusader heal five. Yes, yes. She also heals four. Nice. So, and then she takes two stress for the room. Okay. And that's her turn. 
So now we know the two monsters are going to go next. Yep. Sorry, I cannot read those over there. Ascended Witch, she wants to do a Fate's Push against the closest. So the closest would then be the Highwayman. No. She wants to do a Fate's Push, Accuracy 10, Crit Chance 2. So Accuracy 7, Crit 2. Okay. Of course. That's a hit. For two damage. But I get moved. You get pushed two. Pushed two. And it has to be away from this area, I imagine? Yep. <clears throat> yep you can now the spiked traps won't do anything because... Until the end of your turn. Right, okay, so I'm going to go... Mm, One, two, maybe? Yeah. And you take a stress. Okay. And that guy's going to go next. So Let's instead of... He'll take four. Yep. First. And then he's going to do... He's going to... What, what did he roll? A four. A four? That's number two. Dang it! What does it say? Mutated, uh, mutilated, or no, something, I don't know what it says. I can't read that <laughs> font upside down. Right? Uh, ritual, ritualistic restoration. Oh. Ritualic restoration. So against the closest enemy. Uh, which heals the, 17. Yeah, but that's the closest they're all, enemy. So, so they're all. He's the only one that's wounded. So And he doesn't heal himself. Unless he's considered the closest enemy. But usually things like that say self, Yeah, right? no, his self is he has to push himself two spaces towards right. the back, which he's already in the back. And heal, he's got to be at a distance of one. So the closest enemy to him is her, and she's not injured, but okay. he has to move himself. So either there or there. Mm -hmm. But that's it. Okay. So there's nobody else to heal since he's the only one that's taking damage. So and he's got 17 damage on him. So he's going to bleed out. Or 16. Bleed yep. out. So he's going to die on his next turn. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> okay, so that worked. Not dealing damage to anybody else, that was a good idea. Huh? Not, Not dealing Yeah, it was a good idea. <laughs> Otherwise he would have just gone and healed it completely. 17, that's a big heal. It is. How come I don't get a heal of 17? Because you need to get good. Because I don't have tentacles that are that long. Right. I'm trying to see how these are going to fit in here. And that there, that kind of fits. Are they connected now? No. Yeah. No, not really. They're just... All right. Crusader goes first. We are in round two. Remember, it's four round structure. We have four rounds to win this or we get booted out of the room. It hasn't changed. Like that way? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. We're going to die. No, no. We got All this. right, so I'm going to use two my, my two turns to uh, bust this guy's eye open. Mm -hmm. um, so destroy the eye and gain a positive quirk, and all heroes gain minus five stress. One, two, so, three, two, four, four, five. I think that's two, huge. Three, four, five. And you get a positive quirk. Positive quirk. That does take up your turn. I am resilient. Whenever I get minus stress, I get an extra minus. Nice. Okay. All right. That was pretty good. Grave robber's turn. Oh, grave robber's turn, because highwayman's stuck in the back. All right, so the oh. grave robber now has to do some significant damage. Grave, grave robber's got something. So this guy is going to die. This guy is immune to bleed at 28 health. She has, how much health does she have? The Ascended Witch? 18. 18. So. And and the, the Cultist Priest is only resistant to, to bleed. He's bleed not yeah, immune she's to... all blight. She doesn't have any bleed. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. I'm thinking about getting people off the board. I'm going to attack that witch. Good idea. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to do my Poison Dart. Um, level 3. Accuracy is 12, so accuracy is 8 against her. Crit chance, 3. 
seven, so that's a hit. She takes three damage. I'll take it. And she takes her stack of blight. <clears throat> um, the Ascendant Witch you did? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So that's three over 18 plus a stack of blight. And then I'm going to throw a dagger at her. Accuracy is 11. So she has four. Man, she's really dodgy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Accuracy 7, crit chance 3. She won't stand still. And oh. I missed. Alright, well, that was not. Nuts. Yeah, okay. That was a miss. Okay. <sighs> okay. There we go. Malignant growth. His turn first. So he's gonna do a one. A one which he wants is to do a maul the flesh. Maul the flesh crit one against the accuracy closest. Accuracy ten against the closest. Okay, and so the closest would be wants to be one way away. So that's gonna be the crusader. Oh, I got you. So accuracy eight crit chance two. Maul the flesh. Get out of my face! That's a miss. Woohoo! Man, we needed that. Take it. All right. Next guy's turn. Cultist Priest, roll that die. A five. A five, he wants to do a number two. Uh, of the course he does. Fight, the, the, the finger. finger. <laughs> he wants to give us the finger. All right, he wants to give the finger to the furthest person. <laughs> which, <just> happens, <laughs> which happens to be... The finger. <laughs> yep, the highwayman. <laughs> give the highwayman the finger. Across the room. <laughs> hey, you! Man, that's a nasty, he's a nasty bleed. All right. So accuracy is 11. So accuracy is 8. Crit chance, 3. It's still no joke. Oh, jeez. That is a it's crit. still a crit. For 15 damage. I'm at death's door. So 15, yeah, exactly. So I'm at 22 now. Wow. It's going to get worse. Three bleeds. That's that's pretty that's pretty pretty nasty when you somebody have resistance can to bleed flip right, you off you know, and, and you kill you store. pretty much. All right, well you get three bleed for two turns since you're oh resistant. Oh my gosh, three bleed for two. Wait, three three for two turns. Oh my gosh, and you take two stress. Oh, you take I already took three one. Oh yeah, you're gonna take two more. Oh, and that's it. Oh. That is not... That dude is not cool. That dude's not cool. He needs to go to the principal's office. That's our second person at death's door in the Stat. same... And In the first two rounds. The first two rounds. Of the first right. combat room. She's up next. She's going to take four blight damage. I got it. And she wants to do a one. So she's at seven. Yep. So she needs 11. What she wants she to do a there? one. Fates. Something to... I can't read with that. Yeah, glare distance. is so bad. All right, so fates reveal accuracy. Actually, accuracy ten, crit zero. She wants to do it against the furthest, the furthest away, and, and from a, a range of two, and she can move two. Well, the furthest away is one, two, three, one, two, three. So unfortunately, the furthest away is him. Hmm. She wants to be a range two. Which means that she moves to either yeah. here or there. Well, we want to make sure one of us can get in each of one of these, right? Yeah, either that or... Because he's got an open vein. I'm, gonna, I'm thinking about coming over here to do... Can he open vein from last position? Yes. No. Punk nuggets. Yeah. He can pistol shot three though. That's the only thing he can do. Okay. All right. So, anyways, it's against him since he's uh, the furthest mean. up in the. And so this could be. This could be our first death. Our first death. All right. So what? It, what is it here? Um, crit one. Accuracy of seven. And he misses. It's a miss. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right on. Next. Vestal's turn. 
I just want to get another turn. I just want to get another turn. And... Does that mean I got to come down there and help you? <sighs> Dude. It seems bad. At this point. <laughs> All right. I'm going to move one. And I'm going to Divine Grace. Oh, I'm tempted to just do... Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to Divine Grace on the Highwayman. So, good chance four. Accuracy, you can't miss. Alright. So, seven health. Just to keep you off death's door. Mm -hmm. That'll work. Alright. Highway men's turn. Hmm. I remember the last time I was wondering if we put her in there and then he could have uh, done a grape shot. Well, he can't grape shot from back there anyways. He's in the back of the stands. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he is exactly where he does not want to be. Yeah. Um, and right now, pistol shot is the only thing he can do. She's at seven. She's going to take four more. So technically, she, she needs seven points of damage to kill her. Before she gets another Before turn. Before she gets another turn. Seven points? Mm-hmm. All right. Um, I'll return fire mm -hmm. uh, on this guy from right where I am because that's two away. Yeah. Um, that'll just be uh, accuracy 11. Seven. Seven. Oof. Crit chance one, two, three. Yeah. So crit chance three, accuracy seven. That's a hit. That's a hit. So that's nine damage. That puts her at 16, so she'll die on her turn. Yes. Second action. Second action, I'm going to move him up okay. to defensive. To all the way defensive? Yeah, because that's where I really... Unless that's... you want to leave him here so that, well, she's not much better off. Yeah. Well, okay. I mean, if you want. That's fine. Either way. I'm still, totally e either one of those I'm good with because. No, she would have lost this. Four out of the five, of, four out of the five I can use on either of those. So, right on. It's up to you. Okay. So the last person we know whose turn it is, he's going to die. Yep. So he's just gone. All right. Stupid malignant growth, I mean defensive growth. Jeez. <laughs> no more defensive growth. Yes. One, two, three, four. Guess and now what? We're in round three. We're on round three. Jeez Louise. I don't know if I'm out of time to chase the treasure down today. Uh. <laughs> bruh. <laughs> I'm just saying. Lift your eyes. Oh, you get two stress for being in the pit trap, too. The end of your turn. I know it. All right, here we go. We need to do some smashing. I will, uh, I will gladly heed your voice, sir. Okay, here we go. Crusader's turn. All right. Crusader. Um, are any of these things unholy? That I would assume. Are no, they... Eldritch. Eldritch. She's got to be. She's human. Eldritch. So they nothing not is unholy. unholy. So that takes Smite 3 off the table as being amazing. Amazingly cool. But Stunning Blow would also work. Which one of these fellows do we not want to do anything on their next turn? The second guy? The cultist priest? Oh, I don't know. That malignant growth hits for 11. Yeah. Both of well, them if have he gives a, us the finger again... Both of them have a huge hit. But the Melinda Growth has more hit points, right? Did you do... You did Pistol Shot last time? I did. Turn? Did you go... You went last. I did. You should have bled. Sorry. Huh? You should have bled for three. I'm telling you, man. You... Are working against us. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure we have there enough counters to. I know. <laughs> trying, just trying to make sure we don't run out of components, man. All right. Uh, um, Crusader wants to. So 
lights and dice. Yeah. I was thinking heal myself and then zealously accuse this turn, but I don't know that that's a really good idea. This person's going to bleed out on theirs. Mm -hmm. So we don't need to worry about her. We need to hurry worry about these two dudes. Yep. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to come in here and smack him with a stunning blow. Yeah. Shader climbs on the back of this large Cthulhu-like... So we've got uh, accuracy of 10, 7. Oh my gosh. Yep. Crit 1. Well, seven. hit. Yes. All right, so that's only 5 damage, but it does give him 2 stun. Two stun. Yes. Oh, jeez. So he's not doing anything for a couple turns. He's not doing anything for the rest of the game. <laughs> really? Two stun. Nice. Yes. Holy cow. Smack really like that, that stupid priest in the face. And then, is that a B area? It is not a B area. So, safe from the mm -hmm. drain. Okay. So, our girl gets to go first. Mm -hmm. He wants to maul the flesh against the closest. The closest happens to be Crusader. He's going to move one, so we can either put him in the middle or we can put him. Let's put him in the middle. Okay. That way everybody can head at him and she'll get two pops at him. Yeah, she only has one up close and personal, but she might split that up. We'll see. Okay. Well, um, if you she's want to... actually going to hit this guy. She doesn't want him next to her. She doesn't care, but she doesn't want him next to her. Okay. So, so put him somewhere else? No, that's fine. Okay. So, and then against the Crusader, um, accuracy 10, so accuracy 8, eight. crit chance 2. Nice. nice. Man, you've rolled it. Yeah! A... Holy cow. Yeah! Okay. That's a miss. Highwayman is up. Okay, Highwayman. Um, that malignant growth is calling my name. Yeah. Wow. It's resistant to bleed. So, but it would get two for two turns if I open Bane. Um, yeah, I've got to do one of the higher ones. And if you stay in that space, you're going to take two more stress. Yeah, I'm going to come in. If I go here, I can do a Wicked Slice, which is nine. If I go here, I can do um, Point Pistol Shot three, which is also nine. If I go here, I can do Open Vein, which is seven, plus two bleed for two turns, because he's resistant to bleed. Mm -hmm. So I think that's probably the best. It's only going to be... Go. Two more bleed because he's only got one turn left in his. So it's going to be nine anyways. Okay. So, so maybe you keep spread out just so we don't have like this. Yeah. And do pistol shot. Pistol shot is accuracy eleven against uh, oh, two, two, so it's nine. And we got one, two, three, three. Yep. for crit. So it's a hit. So nine more damage on the malignant growth. Okay. Great robbers up. So he has nine out of twenty-eight. Yeah. And the big guy has five out of twenty-six. Six. Um, but we know he's not doing anything. We do. So, so I think we should focus on the malignant growth right now. So well, I'm six damage against the malignant growth or. No, I I need to do my wombo combo still. Oh. Okay. So, although oh, nobody has a bleed right now, you just have that. You just bleed three more. Oh jeez. Okay, um, I'm gonna do the wombo combo against the big guy here. I know he's not doing anything, but one away from death's door. Great. <laughs> what is his? Dodge is three. So accuracy is nine. Then crit chance three. Okay. So that's three damage, and then One, who? and the stack of blight against the guy that's stunned, the cultist priest. That's eight out of twenty-six. He's gonna take four more at the start of his turn, mm -hmm. which he hasn't gone yet. So he's mm -hmm. so 
and then I'm gonna throw a dagger at him. So accuracy is, what's his dodge? Three. 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 Whew, accuracy is then eight, crit chance three. Okay, Got him. so that's a hit for four, uh, for 10 damage, excuse me. Because it's it's seven damage plus three if he's already blighted, so yeah. that's why. I get so that now extra. he's at eighteen. So he needs eight more. So he's gonna. So he needs four more. What's that? He needs four more altogether. Twenty. He's at eighteen and he's at twenty six. Yep. So that means he will die before the end of the game. Yes. On his next two turns. And he's not going to do anything, so we can completely focus yep. on. Yeah. So right we can now. completely focus down on the last guy. All right, Vestal's turn. So who's Who's worst off now? You uh, are. Highwayman, because he's one away from Death's Door. Crusader's yeah. actually doing pretty well. He's 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 not even he's not even at a half half health. I don't have range to help you with that. She didn't have this oh she does have the speed. I just leveled her up. She's got two mm -hmm. speed now. So she can go one, two, and then just heal him. He's at death or he's close to death's door, right? Okay. Yeah, he's one away. All right, so crit chance is four. So that's just seven health. <laughs> just seven? Well, I feel bad. That other guy gets 17. I get seven. All right. Okay, that's her turn. And that leaves us with... So this guy is going to lose four damage and a stun. Or take four damage. All right. Um... And that's his turn. And the other guy is going to die on his turn, right? Uh, yeah. And this guy's just going to die, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we're in round four. It's all or nothing. <coughs> There's a light. This witch is gone. All right. Round four, all or nothing. That right. guy's gonna die on this his turn. This guy's gonna die on his turn, so we just need to do uh what do we got? We've got five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we need to do uh seventeen damage to that do. Oh jeez. Malfunction. Alright, I just uh, shuffled that right back where it was. Okay. Alright. Buddy boy's gonna go for it. Mm-hmm. Six. Two. He wants to do a daze the mind against the furthest away, oh, um, which happens to just be the Crusader. Wait, yep, the Crusader. How is he the furthest away? He's the front of the line. Right here. Yeah. So it looks on the map who's the furthest away. These two are the same distance. Right. So then it resorts to whoever's in the front of the. Oh, I thought. I thought. Again, we no, never it's all, really talked about yeah. it. I thought this would be furthest away from this. No, nope, it's map first. Got it. And then there's tiebreakers go by stance. Who's in front? Okay. So, yep. so Crusader, Daze the Mind. He wants to be Accuracy. one away. He is. So it's nine, nine crit one. Accuracy nine crit one, and it crit, gives me two stun. Crit two. Um, actually, it gives me one stun. Ugh. Two. So it's crit two. So that's ten damage. Yep. And I got critted against. So mm -hmm. it's so take two. One, two. And it's ten damage? Ten damage and one stun. Okay. Owie. Alright, so Crusader goes next. You have one action. Hmm. I will do my part and zealously accuse. Mm. That's all I've got. Yeah. Or I can heal somebody. <laughs> yeah, as yourself? No. Well, no, not my. No, my. I, I can do zero to one anybody. So I can I can do myself or I can do the vestal or the high, uh, mm -hmm. the grave robber. I think everybody's. Well, it's just a three or yeah. a five. So well, it's she's not at a lot. seven. She's at 14. I can add more because we need to knock him out this turn. Yep. So I'm I think, wondering if you should... 
I know this may sound, let's see here. I was thinking, no, okay. I was wondering if you should just change stance, but I can't push the Vestal far enough up the track. Like if we could get the Vestal up here to do some healing first before we kill it, mm -hmm. it would be nice, but yeah, it is what it is. So, uh, so I'm just gonna do Zealous Accuse. Or a zealous accusation. It would sure would suck if we got to the end and we did a couple misses and I know. So two dodge. Two dodge. So this is uh accuracy eight, crit one. These guys are no joke. Missed. Okay. Wait. Yeah, no, I can't do anything. Okay. Um Yep. That's a miss. All right. His buddy goes next. He's off. Uh, I don't think we're going to make it. Come on now. Come on. <laughs> I mean, we got youth, uh, these three people to go, and they have to do 17 damage. Don't miss. All right, Highwayman's turn. 17 plus 9 is 28, yeah. Yeah, 17 damage. And we have to do 17 straight up? Yeah. Um, here you go. If we don't make it, we got to do this I again. Can't, I can't go in there. No, you cannot. You just got to shoot, shoot him until he's dead. I really can't even do that. The most I can do is 12. That's okay. Grape shot blast him, blast him first. It'll give you your extra bonus. All right. Uh, so I've got. Accuracy is no good though. Um, pistol. Sh oh, we're doing grape shot. Yeah, I might as well do that one first. Yeah. Okay. So plus one. Plus yeah. two. So crit two. Accuracy. Six. Accuracy six. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, pistol shot then. Finish your turn. That's gonna give crit uh, three, crit accuracy, three nine. accuracy nine. That's a That's crit. A crit. That's fifteen damage. <clears throat> well, there you go. So okay. Give him a twenty. Or I'll give him twenty. I got a bunch over here. Yeah. Okay. I put him at twenty four, and you heal stress. I do, which is important. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's your yeah. turn. Oh, it is. All right, Grave Robber's turn. So she's standing right next to him, which isn't ideal. Where did I do that? Oh no, she did heal that up. Never mind. Um, I think. <laughs> oh yeah, because we did the fight. Yes. Um, Grave Robber's turn. So nobody really needs any kind of. It's just okay. Well, she's got picked to the face. I'm just gonna do that. She's, you, she's up close. Can you oh, accuracy man. eight? At least she'll get a couple swings at it. I know, but here, here's the thing. Do we want to? <laughs> I know. Do you want? Do we want to hold, hold your hold your punches a little bit and so hold that the vessel that the last hit is the vessels? Yeah. No. Yeah. We don't. Can you we do have a camp of twenty. Would? We do have a camp of twenty. I know. Can you imagine how bad that would be? If I know, the right? Missed uh -huh. going zero. <laughs> we just flip the table. Oh, that would be epic <laughs> on a certain level. The only problem is the cameras are over there. That's okay. the problem. All right. <laughs> She's going to pick to the face. Pick to the face. Accuracy, eight. Crit chance, two. All right, that's an eight. That's six damage. How much did he need? I think that's it. That's it? Yeah, that's 30, so... He's deep. Success. That that feels almost as good as beating the boss last round. <laughs> and it's the first combat of this. It's our this first combat. Yes. Quest. Yes. Oh my goodness. We do have. We didn't get our chest, which makes me sad. <laughs> we do have a camp of 20. Yeah. Should we use it this early? Let's uh, scout first. We get to see three rooms. Do we? Ooh, yes. All right, scout. Here, have this bleed. I don't want it. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, let's scout first. Why not? All right. I I gave my two people the thing. 
Darkness. We don't want that one. Darkness. Wow. That might be a better option than another battle. Excavation. Ooh. Well, I know Ooh. where we want to go, right? And we want to excavation. Do we want to do our this or do we want to excavate this I'm, scout? I'm not bad. <clears throat> if we. No, let's take. Let's let's go through the. Let's let's explore first. Okay. Crusader. Look at that, I got a nothing. Food. Highwayman. Curios. Okay. Nope, not there. there. It's all good either way. Boy, oh boy. Alright. Starting with you, the food. Yeah. Just gotta consume a food. Okay. And then over here, I got now, a curios. Interesting enough, we have a whole bunch of stuff up here. You can only have ever a max of 16. So if we don't have enough dice to get our four dice from an excavation, we would just be less. So we do actually have one extra. We're using mm -hmm, one for our torch. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. anyways, what did you do there? Curios. Sorry, curio. Yeah, so should I? Yeah, let's burn the torch. And so we don't. Uh, top. Display cabinets. Uh, don't get plus one stress, don't get negative quirk, don't get bleed, we just get ten bucks. Ten bucks. We may need that. Yep. Um, the five is on, and I'll put it back, well, let's just keep it there. Oh, gotcha. I, I got the other five the over there. So that's... Okay. That's got nothing for the grave robber. And I got a curio for her. I'm going to do the same thing, because I really don't want to get loaded up. Eldritch Altar. No, 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 you get a buff of two. Buff of two. Just don't want the negative stuff right now. Mm -hmm. Too much. All right, so that gets us to our room. Oh, it's a dead end. Did we know it was a dead no! end? No! We didn't know it was a dead end, but it's too bad. We need it anyways. Oh, jeez. Okay, so we get four dice to add. Your turn, now you, I rolled last one. Wait a minute, how... Yeah. Did I? No, no, you did good. I How think. did this happen? Where are we? Oh no. Okay. I Everything's got to be. I get it. I get it. I get it. Just to see. Yeah. I get it. I get it. Okay. All right. Um. So we've got our excavation. So we roll those guys. Get two shovels and two torches. How about three, three torches, torches and, and a shovel. shovel? Look at that. See? Look at all this stuff. <laughs> okay, and we get eight. Eight. He's at twenty-one. I wouldn't mind using a couple here. Wouldn't be bad to drop a little bit of stress. Um, I would say. Hmm. Seven's not bad, but fourteen out of nineteen is. I'd say take five. Take five. Yeah, take five, and then I'll I'll lose some stress over here. Okay. All right. Uh, so five, up six, a little bit. seven, eight. We got four more deals. Remember, we still, we still have, you know, for we stress still... relief, we can use this. For health, we can use these if we need them. We still got twenty as well. That can't. We still have the twenty. Before we do the twenty, not that we're not going to do it, but let's go a little bit further. We'll back up one. That's one stress each. Yeah. And then I say we go ahead and explore over before we. We hit that darkness. Let's, yeah, let's go hit the darkness before we can. Crusader. Curio. Boy, we're in. Oof. Trap. And I got two, oh, two blockades. Crud. So that's three shovels we need to do to roll. I have all hey, those torches. I'm all just right. saying. Curio first. Burn a torch. Yeah. I'm just saying. Suit of armor. It's a negative, negative, negative. Negative, get negative. Disease. Nope, negative two. Oh. You get rid of all of it. I get nothing. You get nothing. <laughs> get out of nothing my good, face. Nothing good, nothing bad. Get out of my face. A lot face. of nasty. Can you imagine getting a disease right now that like, all right. turns you inside and out? And the uh, yeah. trap, um, I will... Accuracy is five. Crit chance one. I'll roll. Jeez. And it's a, a ten. ten. Beautiful. 
Okay. Where was this? So it was here. So each of these is three <clears throat> damage and three stress. So I think. If you don't mind, I'm going to use the shovel for this one. And she's going to go ahead and take damage. Let's do, let's put that over there. Just in case. And three stress. Okay, damage and three stress to her. Okay, and we are now in the darkness room. So we have to burn a torch, not to lose light. Mm -hmm. Might as well. Either that or, yeah. It's fine. Now we're she has two skills now that lay, raise the light level, so if we get to the point where we need to build it back up. So it's just curios that we're worried about. But, okay. So now we can scout. We're good with that? Yeah. We have to. Excavation. That's the third one. There's only three on the board. And curios. And then how does this path move up? Once we get to the excavation, we need one up. room. Yeah, we need to go that way anyways, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so do we do our 20? Um, let's do the, uh, let's go up and do the excavation room first. Okay, the only thing I'm worried about is if that pops four before, which there's nothing mm -hmm. that's going to give me four stress in one hit, I guess. So okay. we can do it. All right. All right, here we go. Over. We are wandering through the dungeon. Starkness. Another curio. And highwaymen. And food. Blockade. Okay. So darkness. It's too stress, or we lose a light level, or we burn a torch. I say we lose a light level. I'm good with that. That's my. Okay. And then um, blockade here. We don't have any shovels. No, three stress. Three damage. Oh dear. One, two, three. <laughs> and three. Alright, I'm gonna burn a torch for this curio. Give me a curio, sir. Sarcophagus. It's stress, bleed, disease. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. We'll take it. We'll take it. Okay. We are going to get some money. 22 bucks going yeah. back to town now. Food. Man, we are chewing through stuff. Mm -hmm. Remember, this is all stress relief. I'm wondering, we need to think about those. but Yeah. Okay. Right, so now we're in the excavation room. Four more dice. This is our last excavation room. We got three excavation rooms in a nice little proximity. Yeah. I need to roll a whole bunch of shovels. But... Or more none. torches. We keep up these torches. One food. No shovels, though. Okay. But our torches have been doing good. We want to use some of these guys. And we get eight. Well, we get eight now. Oh, that's true. We do get eight. Um, so, one, two, three, four. Um, one, two, three, four. If I can come back to half, mm -hmm. then you can I bring her take, back as well. I could take... Three. You can do that, and I'll bring. Doesn't matter, I guess. They're all pretty close. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's stress wise, we're doing okay. Okay. That's our last saving grace stress room. Um, well, we still have our camp of 20. Mm -hmm. We still have our camp of 20. <clears throat> so let's scout now, first and then see what we got. All right, we're scouting one room. So scouting ahead. We got pretty lucky to. Combat. Combat. And that's the way we have to go, right? Yep, yep, yep. We don't have a choice. We have to go up here. There's no connection. And then we can go up here, wise. and that gives us these uh, two. So then I think we should camp and do some heal. Yeah. Healing. We got 20 total. Mm -hmm. You might as well take 10 of it. He's going to get hit again. Yeah. That's ten. And really do four for him and three for everybody. Sure. Four, that'll be nine. Yeah. Or he 
You could do a little bit more and I could just leave the vessel at 10. I'll leave the vessel at 10. You can have three more for whoever you want. She likes living on the edge, but she doesn't get beat up much. You said two more? Three more. Three more? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it's eight. Eleven down to eight. All right. How we, uh, we're both feeling better, actually. And I also have this recovery charm of nine, too. So. Nice. Um, did she, she had the, did she have the hunger earlier, or was that her? Mm. I don't remember. She had, oh, she had the hunger earlier. Leave. Okie dokie. Here we go. All right. So we've used the 20 now. Mm-hmm. Can we do that? We are camped out. So now we got to explore. We've used our excavation rooms. Oh, yeah. Now we got to explore. Crusade. Darkness. Dang it. Canada. Curio. Not a highway. Curio. Poop. Uh, Seriously, noodle. two more curios. Yes. And a darkness. All right, well, she's going to take the two stress. You guys can use two torches. Yeah. So, curio down here. He gets a trinket. He gets a trinket. Well, that's not bad. I have to get rid of one of the ones? You can give it to somebody else, too. Or I can give it to or somebody you, else. Yeah, you can give any of your four to somebody. Scholar's Ring. Accuracy, two if you're not in the last position. Oh. That'd be um, good for him. Why don't you yeah. just give it to him? Accuracy minus two. And then I can do... Oh, accuracy oh, minus no, I'm, two I'm, if I'm you're sorry. not in the last position. Yeah, that's... So this is the opposite of the Warrior's Ring. Mm. And this is crit four... If you're in the last position, so that so, needs to go to one of your two people. Yeah, well, Pro probably somebody. The best I don't know who wants that, but the soul. <laughs> nobody wants a stupid solar crown. Solar I'll keep crown. it. Oh, the highwayman will take it. <laughs> Hang on to this crown for me, highwayman. <laughs> Looks good on you. <laughs> All right, and then the highwayman high gets. Uh, Stress, ten bucks. Negative quirk, debuff, and ten bucks. All right. Well, we we have been cracking the curios out. Mm -hmm. All right, combat room. Combat room. Did I already pull one? I don't think I did. No, you didn't. The Hall of Ascension. That sounds bad. Okay, so the Hall of Ascension has areas that have a little green burst on it. It says heroes can spend two actions here and suffer three stress to instantly upgrade themselves or any one of their skills. That's interesting. It looks like this. It's uh, number... Well, it's interesting. So this two. tile, you notice number three is double. It's the same. Huh? It's a three and a three. Interesting. Alright, number two. Alright. So we are in the bathroom. Okay, so what does it say again? Sorry. Um, these gr this green area here, mm -hmm. we can spend... Uh, you suffer three stress to instantly upgrade themselves or one of their skills. Oh, screw that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'll pass. <laughs> Tempting, but no. But no. These are our last there four. Are two right treasure there. chests there. Ooh. One. <laughs> now, I just, I don't care if we have four rounds or not. The grave robber cannot see any of this. All right, a polyp. <laughs> That's disgusting. Yep. Enemy beast in the back. And he's way bigger than you think. I don't mm. even know. Like, what is he walking on? He's just like rolling. No, himself. he's flying, man. Look at those wings, oh, he's dude. he's flapping. Like so star, like a puff, flying polyp, ring. that's disgusting, dude. Oh, yep. So, <laughs> All right. He's going to start right here. An antibody. This sounds like a what place where like? you should be able to get healed. Yeah, it sounds like There's like, like a polyps, and we're going to inject that polyp with antibodies. Mm. That's disgusting. Malignant growth. 
Oh dear. Back to one of those guys. Gibby skibby. Defensive? Yeah. And another witch. Burn her! She turned me into a newt. I got better. <laughs> she turned you into a newt, eh? Well, I got better. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Alright, so... This does these, not look good, dude. This does not look good. Because so these are height areas, so they yeah. get a plus one range. Mm -hmm. And plus mm -hmm. one accuracy. So if they want to be, for example, two away... They could be three away. They could be three away, correct. You still have to have line of sight on the square, though. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Where is initiative. initiative deck? I deleted it. I need some go-go juice. Coffee. That'd be cool with the deck, as if they had a. Oh, I guess they can't do that. Huh? What's that? I was gonna think if you had a dice that just you could roll them or them, but you'd have different values, different yeah. amounts. You could do it. Yep, yep, yep. All right, Crusader goes first. All right. I need coffee too, and I left it way over there on the shelf. Go get it. <laughs> I will. Um. And you can go get it right now because you're not on camera right now. I'm not on camera? Good. No, because... They can't see my... I'm the one camera. editing this. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm going to make sure you are on camera just because. All right. Um, if I had three, I'd run right up here, I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. Just to, just to say, ha-ha, look what I got. All right, I do have only one movement still. Man, Crusader, yeah. he needs to get in the gym a little bit more often. Do some, um... It's hauling like 90 pounds worth of plate. I know. <clears throat> and he only weighs a buck 25. <laughs> he's all armor. As soon as he takes that off, he's skin and bones. That's true. <laughs> and wounds. Scar tissue. None of these dudes are unholy either. Mm, they're all eldritch. No, wait. That malignant growth looks like it's... No, that's eldritch. That's right. Hmm. And I don't have my um, you don't have your speed, speed available. stone active, so I will, all I can do is LSA accuse, man, that's not fun. It's horri or horrible. That polyp has a three? Yeah, these guys are... Gosh, they're so hard to hit. A lot of dodge. I can only move one. Okay. <sighs> Show him your scroll. If I was only in a different position. Yep. I could do Holy Lance. That's a trick, huh? Starting out with him and one level back, maybe. I don't know. Let me ask this, and I won't do it now, of course, mm -hmm. but when we come in, don't we have the opportunity to... Before the battle, we do. Before the battle. That's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to do it now. Yeah, but... that's what I'm saying. Anytime we're just out trouncing around, he can move back and be sitting mm -hmm. in that second mm -hmm. spot. And be ready. Give him a little bit of a lunge. Mm -hmm. It's not a bad idea. Have to remember that for next time. Let's just hope there is a next time. Strategizing. <clears throat> Strategizing, yes. Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll go here and we'll zealously accuse that stupid polyp of simply being ugly. Disgusting. You, my friend, are disgusting. All right, so I've got accuracy 10. He has a, a dodge of 3, so that's 7. Mm -hmm. uh, crit 1 because of our light status. Mm -hmm. So that's a miss. He didn't think you were telling the truth. Well, he doesn't have any ears. Like, he can't you hear are me. wrong, sir. He he just well, sees me holding a piece of paper up. <laughs> He's like, what in the hell is that guy doing? <laughs> <laughs> All right. He wants to do a stunning secretion against... <laughs> yeah. A stunning secretion? That's, that's exactly Who came up with these? <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> a stunning secretion. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Against the crusader. the crusader. Yeah, because he walked around the corner. Yeah, well, 
With toilet paper. Accuracy is nine. Crit chance is one. Okay, so seven crit chance one. Ten. He miss. Oh, good, because the normal damage is twelve. <laughs> Oh my God. Crit is eight. That is quite stunning. Yes. What is he secreting at me? No, I don't want to know. He is slamming you with that pile of head, and just stuff is gonna like. Oh, that's disgusting. Ooze. That is not right. Okay, well he missed. This is not the time. <laughs> what are you talking about? To mess we up get with them this. out of the way, then we can do what we need to do. All right, malignant growth. That's him. He wants to do a maul the flesh against the closest. Uh, so he's him. two spaces away from one no those, crusaders two away as those. well. Oh man. He's gonna go one space towards a crusader. Accuracy is eight, crit chance two. And that's a hit for 11 damage. Oh! And you have resistant to bleed? No. And two bleed for three turns. 11 damage. Yeah, these guys hit really hard. Man, alive. And bleed for two? For three turns. Two for three? Two for three. Goodness gracious. Alright, High Woman gets to go next. Two, four, three. High Women's like, y'all suck, I'm out. Mm -hmm. But, um, he does not, do, now here's the thing. I would imagine he does not have line of sight up here. Range of three. One, two, three. I don't have range of three anyway, but I'm um, just for poops and giggles. I'm just wondering, do I have line of sight up to here? Mm -hmm. if, you can, any... if you can pull a straight line, yeah, I'd say okay. so. Yeah. All right, cool. Now that I know, knowing's half the battle. All right, that stupid malignant growth mm -hmm. is about to get mm -hmm. some metal up its tailpipe. The malignant growth is? Um. Maybe the witch needs a one, two. No, wait, that's higher up though, so that adds one. No, doesn't uh, it's do just the person that's here. Up, yeah. Got it. All right, so one, two. I could go up there for the ascended witch. Um, pistol shot three. That's uh. Well, wait, I have a. Well, I can't get in there. That's nuts. What yeah. about over here? You want me to go over here and light this dude up with open vein? You pick. Does he have... Is that a charge? An open vein? A charge ahead? Hmm? How are you going to get there? He has movement of three now. Oh, movement of three. Yeah. Got it. One, two, three. Ooh, maybe. And an open vein that gives him some bleed that he's not resistant to. Then you can stand there and beat on him? Yeah. Go for it. I'm going to do it. Okay, so accuracy 11, 8. Uh, crit chance 2. It has no crit chance on its own. Yep, okay. Well, it hits. So that's seven damage. Um, I don't have any I got him. lives. I got him. Oh, oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, you got it. Okay, Too so late. seven. And then um, two bleed for three turns. Okay. It's your turn? Yep. Alright. Witch's turn. You'll have to read this one. She wants to do a number three, or she rolled a three. Ascended Witch. Mm -hmm. A three, which is the one, which is Fate's Reveal. So it's the uh, furthest one away at a range of two. One, two, three, one, two, three. So then. It's going to be the Grave Robber. Mm hmm. So against the Grave Robber, it's an uh, Accuracy 10, uh, Crit 0. Okay, so she has Height, she has Range, so it's Accuracy 11, mm -hmm. Crit 1, so it's Accuracy 8. Oh, Accuracy 10. Yeah, plus 1 for her Height Advantage. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I thought it just gave you... Okay. Yeah. 
It's a range and an accuracy. Okay. So accuracy is eight modified. Yep. And one crit. What is wrong with you? That's a second now you're crit taking mine. I rolled against myself. Okay, so that's three damage. Oh, that's the crit damage is yeah. three. That means the rest of it's going to be nasty. Oh yeah. All right. Right. So it's plus two stress. Okay. Our torch goes down one. Ooh. And you're marked for two turns. Ooh. <coughs> All right. Well, that is nasty. We need our, so our torch now is low enough that everybody that gets a stress takes an extra stress. Yep. Alright, so she gets to go next. She being the grave robber. Mm hmm. Um, range of two. Alright, so which one of these guys do we want to beat on? <coughs> so, uh, that dude just hits. That polyp just hits for so much. 11 damage. And the other guy hits for 11 damage, plus a bleed. Um, and they're both the same strength. So I'm going to attack the growth. Okay. I don't know if it matters, but I'm going to attack the growth with poison dart. I could flash and dagger them. No. I'm going to attack the growth with poison dart. So accuracy is 10, crit chance 3. And one of these marks goes away. That's mm. a hit for three damage. Oh wait, that's a oh yeah, that's a hit for three damage. Mm. Plus this. Okay. Then I'm gonna throw a dagger at him. Because I get that. Crit chance is three, accuracy is nine. Yeah. Crit. Yes. So this will go down one. Um that is 15 damage. Yes. <laughs> Nastiness. And I think, unless you're opposed, I'm going to take two of these to lower her. Do it. Down mm. just a little bit. Do it. Do what must be done. All right. Well, she did, what, an 18 to him? Plus, plus yeah. the blight? Plus the blight. That's a truckload of damage. So that's 26. That won't kill him in two turns, so he'll need one more hit on him. Mm -hmm. Alright. So, last guy gets a go. He bleeds for two. He does. He's in the last position, so he's going to roll a three. Three um, is a one, so that is a venomous V venomous phlegm. <laughs> right on again. Venomous phlegm against the furthest um, at a range of two. One, two, three. One, two, three. So, interesting enough, furthest away would be the grave robber, but he cannot move into this from, space. From where? Oh, that's this dude. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Or one, one two, two, three. three. So it has. She's, to... she's closer here. No, because he would. That's who oh, he would target. Oh, I got you. But he can't move but in. He can't here. move in. So that's it. So he just stays there. Yep. He doesn't switch targets. Mm, mm, mm. All right. Here we go. Oh, so, is this round two? We're on round two. We did a little bit of damage. Not bad, not bad. But um, I think, well, actually, I think we're doing better in this combat room than we did in the first one. Shh. I, well, Why you got That's start. a truth. It is a truth. That is a truth. I can flip like a dime. Okay. Your, what is it called? The antibody. antibody. Oh, is just going to do a stunning secretion. Yep, against the crusader. Oh, gee whiz. This guy needs Accuracy to cut it out with the secreting. is nine. Crit chance one. Okay. 
This time it is 12 damage. Oh, that's put me at, that puts me at death's door. Jeez. I think. Let me see. 15. Yeah, 19. Yeah, 12. 12. Uh, 31. It's 31, so I'm not at death's door. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> you need some tens? No. No, I got I got right. plenty of tens. You're dude. good. Thanks. All I'd right. like to go for a walk. 31 damage, and he would stun you for one turn, but you're resistant to stun. Okay, so he doesn't stun me at all. Nope. <laughs> I didn't do Chilling it, man. man. All right, so that makes it, sorry. It's okay. Let me put this back. 22. 22 out of 28, so. Four. Four. That's going to be number one, Maul the, Maul flesh. the flesh. To the closest, at a space, a range of one. Again. Uh -huh. Oh, man. Accuracy 10, 8, crit chance 1. He hits. He hits. Puts me at death's door. Puts you at death's door. And gives you two more bleed. Which I haven't. Turns. Stop. I haven't been doing. So we got to stop there. No, he did that. After you, you haven't gone yet. You haven't gone yet. I have. Yeah, you went first. You haven't gone yet. Second round. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. So, so he hits me for stack. more. Mm-hmm. Because that's better. It's not better. <laughs> Read the room, Your bro. Your definition of Read better. Read the room, bro. <laughs> Your definition of better is not better. Okay, and you're at death's door. Yes, I am at death's door. All right. Okay. Crusader, why don't you take your four damage? Okay, so this is all one? It's all one, yeah. So it's one roll. It's one roll. So we're going to lose the Crusader. Don't say that. We can't lose the Crusader here. We did not lose the Crusader. Nice. <laughs> Still at death's door, though. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it's your turn. Um, Zealously accused that guy of being rude. <laughs> Stop secreting things, sir! <laughs> How dare you! He needs... So he's at 22. He only needs two damage to take him out. Who is that, the malignant growth? Yeah. So, But you can get them both, but yeah. And you could heal or something. I am going okay. to do that. Zealously accuse... Accuracy 10... That's six. That should be hit. So uh, that's six damage on both. Okay. That's actually enough to finish him. You can take that. Um, and then six damage on the other? Yep. Uh, does that polyp not have any damage on it yet? No. That's offensive. No longer. The antibody? No. Nope. Yeah, the antibodies. I'm not a polyp, sir. <laughs> All right. So now... Take it back. Um, I'm going to battle heal. Try to get myself off of death's door so that when somebody smacks me again. Mm -hmm. All right. So it's a seven, which is just regular, so it's three. You could use your stone, but I don't know if... You could also um, use a bandage to get rid of the rest of your bleed, right? Yes, I do need to do that, yeah. So get rid of the bleed with the bandage. And then uh, 32 minus 3 is 29. So. And if you. Uh, I'm not going to use the recovery term now. Because if I use it, they'll hit me I'll once hit and it'll be, it it'll be right up. back. I know. So. I'm off death's door, and I don't have bleed, so we're good. Very nice. Very nice, very nice indeed. Okay. Highwayman is next. Don't forget about this. I know she hasn't come up yet, but... Oh, yeah, good call. Nobody's taking the stress yet. Highwayman. All own. right, Highwayman. Let's go ahead and uh, try to... Finish him. Finish that dude off. Can't do point blank shot, though. Is there anything? No, it doesn't. What is he at? He's at 9 out of 17. He needs 8 damage. 
before he goes again. He's going to take two. No, he needs six then. Okay. So even well, if you could hit him for just like... Just open vein then. And then you can shoot somebody else maybe. Yeah. Right. All right, open All right. vein it is. Uh, accuracy 11, 8, crit chance 1. Okay. Well, that's a hit. Nice. So that's uh, 7 damage. Okay. Um, so just give me 3 else. and I'll put a 10 up there. Uh, there we go. All right. Wait. Yeah. 16? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 16. Okay, okay, okay. And he gets another bleed for, but we don't need to worry about it because he's yeah, going to die. It's going to die. So that's that. That was the open vein. And then I'm going to shoot this little dude in the freaking head. Or should I shoot this? If you shoot her, I can try to. She's at range though. I don't know. Shoot the other one and I'll try to beat on him a bunch. Him? Yeah, maybe. Okay. So I'm shooting the antibody. All right. So that will be a pistol shot. Three. Accuracy Dodges is three. Uh, eight. Then uh, crit two. That's a freaking miss. Okay. <sighs> Great Roberts' turn. All right. Now she has to make a decision if she's gonna go after. Oh, range not good here. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Well, she'll just go after this guy then with her combo poison dart. Three, um, accuracy nine, crit three. Yep, all right. So that's three damage. Just by the hair on your chinny chin chin. Three damage plus the, s okay. plus the blight. Got the three. And a dagger throw, accuracy eight, crit chance three. Come on. <laughs> Okay, so there's a crit. That's 15 damage, right? That is 15 damage. Oh, yeah! What's that put him 24, at? which means next turn he's deed. Oh, right on the money. Deed. Deed. Right on the money. Now that we just gotta was... deal with this stupid witch. Don't call me that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. What you talking about? The witch's man? turn. Oops. I, I take it back. Should have. Nine. Nine. So that means they're gonna do. She's gonna do a number three. We haven't which seen yet. A fate's pull. Now we've seen it. Oh. Uh, crit one. Accuracy ten. And the furthest. And against the furthest at a range of two away. Okay, so. Uh, so she wants to move to. No, she's up high. She still has range. One, two, three. Yep. Okay. So she can do it. Okay. Uh, crit th crit one, accuracy ten. So crit two, accuracy seven. Wait, why is it a crit two? It's a torch. They're mm -hmm. cumulative. <clears throat> I haven't been counting that on my rolls. It doesn't it matter because I roll so hor horribly. I think I was counting them. Okay. What did I say it was? That's a miss. Accuracy what? Accuracy. It's accuracy ten. Yeah! Happy dance! Baby. Get off of oh. that. I look down at the table when I do the happy dance. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Alright, Vestal's turn. Vestal. And she's 100 miles from anybody. But she can move too. Why is she still over there? Did she go last round? Like, what the heck? Did you not do? Did I skip the Vestal last yeah, round? I think you did. How did that even happen? People have been yelling about it ever since. Did I skip the Vestal before? No. I'm just saying, as they're watching this. The video, they're like, hey, go the best one. <laughs> <laughs> well, crud. Well, her speed is two, so. She would have been here. She would have been here. Which would have meant she, she probably would have got one more attack. No. Uh, no. no. Yes. No, 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 because this one wanted to attack her but couldn't and yep, wouldn't have moved. Yep, the distance. So okay. everything's the same. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. just been hiding in the corner. So she would have gone here and she would have tried to heal that guy. Can we can we backtrack that movement? I, I in, in order uh, for and two of these would one of these would be gone for that last round. Um, I can't the believe integrity that's of the video. Yes. Yeah. Okay. We must do that. All right. So that is a actually she's going to use divine comfort on this guy. Mm -hmm. That's a crit chance five. So that would be a crit. He would get five health. 
and she would get four. Okay, that brings her up. Sorry, guys. All right, now it's her turn again. Now it is her turn again, which she likes that way better. She is going to, so he's going to die, right? Yes. But he is not, or is he? No, he is. He's going to die. So only he's got left. 16, and he's going to bleed for two on his turn. You don't need a lot of healing. I'd love to heal him, but he's too far away, so he's screwed. <laughs> <laughs> but what I am going to do is I am going to do Pepper. Dazzling Light. I know. I'm going to do Dazzling Light against her. Mm -hmm. So accuracy, ooh, accuracy is only six. Crit mm. chance three, because I got rid of this one too. So crit chance three, accuracy six against her. That is a two. That is a crit. Yes. For five damage. Yes. She's stunned for one round. Indeed. And the torch goes up one. That's awesome. And then for the other one. Hmm. Those are both going to die. Mm-hmm. We just... So should them. I just do a heal, mm -hmm. or should I hit her again and raise the torch one more? Can you more? do a judgment? Are you... I can do a judgment. Judge that witch! Okay, let's do that. That's a good call. Burn her! Accuracy six, crit chance three still. Because I use that thing. Okay, so... Just five damage, and I heal three more. All right, we have got this one in hand, She's sir. Been judged. All right, last guy goes and dies. And he expires. Not perspires, expires. That was the polyp. This thing. Uh, yes. Creepy little thing. Okay, round three. <laughs> Who's gonna go get those two chests? <laughs> we should get some more heals out here. Just that big heal over there. Everybody else is in decent shape. That's what happens to the tank. I know. All right, he here gets we go. All that damage, and then he whiffs. Crusader gets to go first. <laughs> So um, we are in round three, so that guy's going to die, and she's going to do nothing this whole round. So you can do whatever mm, you want. Mm. Well, I can't even get up here. No, but it would be worth moving closer so that Vesto can heal you. Oh, no. And it might even be worth just healing yourself. Yes. Crit three. Eight, nice. Five. And you're resilient, so every time you lose a stress, you lose another stress. Nope. There you go. Two. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Okay. We can handle that. All right, Highwayman gets to go next. Mm, one, two, three. Um, 18, should I do that? Here, here. I'm going to do the whole, I'm wondering, should we, yeah, let's do it. Let's no, do the I whole, have to come up here. yeah. We're playing with the fate a little let's bit. Roll. More bandages. Okay. That's your turn. Mm-hmm. Alright, so he's gonna be gone. Be gone, good sir. Don't call him a good <laughs> sir. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. I think I uh sometimes it's okay not to call him a good sir. Alright. Her turn. She's gonna lose her stun. That's it. That's it. So then the grave robber's turn. One. Oh, I can only get one of those though. Is it worth it? Are we are we sure we can kill her? Yeah, we are, right? Um, 
All yeah, right. one, one, so one slice. So am I going the, for money? Uh, we got thirty, and we got I think two or five, five bucks over there, maybe. The trick yeah, is five bucks. When we go back to town, we have four days just straight up to do the best we can. Mm -hmm. Should I go for money? Yes. One piece of gear that we can choose where it goes. Or 13 money. 13 bucks. 13 gold. Okay. And then for the Vestal, she's going to heal the Crusader with Divine Grace. Accuracy, crit chance four. Oh, crit, yeah, crit chance four. So that's crit. So that's nine health to the Crusader. Ooh. And she is completely not stressed out. She's like, man, this dungeon is kind of easy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you healed how much? Nine. Nine? Yeah. All right, so I can just turn this into a five. Yeah. And then she's going to heal you again with Divine Comfort. Crit chance four. Okay, well. So you heal for four more, and she heals for four herself. That's not bad. Not bad. Okay. Now we're tempted feet. Now we are, well, sure. <laughs> can, if we miss that many times, we get kicked out of this It dungeon. was meant to be. It was meant to be. <laughs> and we, the witch won. We got to do eight damage. That's all I know. And we're not pulling any punches. Go ahead, Crusader. Okay, I'm coming on up. And I'm going to do a, how much does she need? Eight. All right, I'm going to do a smite three. She has four dodge. So it's seven. Mm-hmm. Crit two. Got it. It's a hit. Eleven damage. Eleven damage. Dead. Over. Okay. Where's that card back? We did all right. Even if the vessel skipped the turn. <laughs> Well, technically she didn't. Technically she, she didn't. Did we not. caught it. I didn't get my last chest, though. I'm a little <laughs> sad. But you did let me get a little bit of money, so I can't whine too much. Okay. Um, Torch is at three. And we are here, so... So remove that room. That was a combat room. Yes, it was. So We're tearing through the dungeon. So, explore to here. Or do we see what that is first? I Let's say we explore it here. Because that gives us two. It does. One and we can go back down that way if we have to. Yeah, but he's... So he's here, there, here, here, or there, or here. right? Right. This is the shortest route. Okay, I got it. I, I agree with you. Yep, 100%. Because we can yep. still come back here. Uh, we don't have yep. to come back this way, you know? So I right think on. we explore up here first. Okay, so well, we first roll we, those got, two dice. we got a scout. Why do we got a scout? You still have to scout. Well, unless you want to roll two dice each. Oh, still we got, in the room. even though this is here, it we still have matter. to... It doesn't matter. Okay, yep. gotcha. We will see what this is anyways. Hmm. We want to hope it's not there. <laughs> okay. That would be bad. All right, everybody gets to roll. Crusader. Crusader. A curio and highwayman. Yes! Nice. Nothing. Alright, starting with the curio. We have one torch left. What did you guys roll? A trap and food. And a torch doesn't help with either of those. No. So, as so I take it. I think we're going to use it, yeah. It's our last. Um, don't get a disease. No disease, no negative quirk, but we get 10 more bucks. And we get to roll this. Ugh. <laughs> Anti-stress. Is what it is. All right, well, that puts us up here. And now we got to take another stress. Scout, yeah. Another scout. So, uh -huh. and in doing that, I think I'm going to burn one of these. Drop that down. Curio room. 
Okay. Curio room. Ooh. So then we gotta go this way first, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So everybody takes a stress. Hmm? We, oh, we, we just done. Yeah, we, we just did that. We just did that, sorry. All Crusader. Right. Oops. Food. Oh, I didn't roll her trap. Getting ahead of ourselves. Yeah. Her trap was crit chance one, accuracy five. So that's four. So that is six damage. Oh. Yeah, it's just the ten. All right, fifteen out of nineteen. All right, so okay. I rolled. I rolled the food. For, Perfect. Uh, Crusader. Hi, Yes. Nice. We got another nothing there yeah, too. I still don't. I, I still don't have. We don't have any food to eat though. Now we don't have food to eat, so that is two damage per level. So six damage. <clears throat> Your stomach is grumbling. We've been in a. This is a long dungeon. <clears throat> a very long dungeon. Okay, and then I got to roll a trap. Yeah. So against tracks, I get a plus two, so that's a uh, uh, crit chance one, accuracy four. And that's a miss. Good, 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 good. Take it. All right, here. Here your room, yep. One through five, we have a combat. Why are you having me roll it? All you right. roll it. We're having combat one through five? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why, Papa Smurf? All right, the Templar's room. Oh no! Do you know what this is or what? what well, do you... I know what the Templars <laughs> are, but as long as they're not here. Yeah, I guess. All right, so wow, spikes. Wow, what is going on? Oh, does this thing turn? Wow. Um, okay, a... so um all of these areas are spiked areas <clears throat> heroes pushed into or ending their move here take five damage and bleed three for three turns okay <clears throat> that's that don't get pushed in there and definitely don't end your turn there. definitely don't end like i'm gonna walk in here i know right all right, here we uh, go. Let's see. He goes there. We get another. Hey, did I put that guy on the bottom? I gotta make sure I put that guy on the bottom. No. All right. <laughs> Man, don't we get be, another polyp. Don't be doctoring it now. Oh, not another polyp. Technically, he wasn't really that bad. We get a rapturous cultist. That doesn't an sound. Unholy good. human. So, oh. That's fast. Yeah, Crusader just started salivating. He a likes to bit. create up. Uh, but he <laughs> likes to create defense and heal people. Oh, he's he's dead. He's like a yeah. He's like a he's right here. The guy's like, I'm chomping at the bit. I'm chomping at the bit. Give me that unholy dude. We have an Eldritch Beast antibody. Where's he go? Here. Yeah. And we have a malignant growth. Those malignant growths just will not go away. Doctor, it just keeps coming back. <laughs> <laughs> it's disgusting. It's just not right. <laughs> All right. They don't fit in the thing. I gotta put them in a the spike trap. They'll no, fit kidding. when they All get right. minis on. I know they're gonna be so cool with the minis. You know the coolest mini that I'm looking forward to, and I don't have any clue why, is that little uh, is a little groundskeeper hanging out at the trinket shop. That's a cool little mini. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm just that's cool. <laughs> that is like just a way to watch him walk around town. No, these minis are gonna be amazing. Mm -hmm. All right, I don't want to shuffle. If I don't shuffle, I think I put all the bad guys right on top. So I better. Well, I'll tell you what. I I I. The way that we are, we've got, again, we're going through. I know, but I'm amazed that we are still alive. I know. I'll be honest with you. I I'm know. amazed that we're still alive. 
right. So. Thanks for talking out loud. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, your buddy. Oh. Rapturous culture. The rapturous cultist. Wants to do a flesh wall. <clears throat> so. Is that like a meat shield? Yeah, he's created. It he is. He created a shield on himself. That means if he's the closest to you, you have to attack him. Don't worry. <laughs> he's like, I got this. I know. Fuck. Come hit me. He's like, oh, I will. Crusader's turn. All right. So the first. Don't have anything that can happen at two spaces away. So what I will do is move. Yeah, but that dude right there, that dude is a jerk. Do we have any people that will push us? Hmm. Yeah, um, that stupid polyp thing will push us. All right, so I'm going to go here. And I'm going to open up with a little monologuing. Okay. The zealous accusation. And that is an accuracy 10. Says no. Oh, crap. So his nothing, but what about this? He has a three, so it missed him. Okay. Missed him, but it hit him. So that's six damage on that dude. Okay. Next guy is your friend. All he wants to do is the same old thing. Stunning secretion against oh. you. Accuracy is nine. Crit chance one. Mm. And it's a hit for 12 damage. No stun. Mm. 12 damage. 12 damage. Jerk. That dude just thumped you with a headbutt. It's the only thing you can't attack with when all you have is I know. A headbutt. You're... you're you're literally just ahead. <laughs> That's right. All right, Highwayman is next. Highwayman, Highwayman. Um, I think I'll just turn around and do a. What have we got? Polyp has 17. Malignant Growth has 28. Um, but I can't move in there yet. So. I'm going to go ahead and do... And it sucks having some level 1 skills now, huh? It does. So I'm going to do uh, Pistol Shot 3. Yeah. Pistol shot three against um, the malignant growth. That gives me a better chance of hitting. You can do it with your second action. I should do grape shot blast first. Even if, I mean, if I hit, it'll give me a plus one crit on the other person. Gotcha. So. Yeah, okay. Eight, so it's going to be five and six. That's oh, nothing. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. So pistol shot three on this thing, the malignant growth. Okay. Um, it was a uh, crit two, so that doesn't matter, but it's nine. Okay. Nine damage on the malignant growth. I got it. I got a whole bunch. I've been okay. collecting. Somehow I keep up with. Yeah. I keep stealing it all. All right. That's it. Grave robbers next. So, how much does the malignant growth need to go down? It's he would need nineteen more. The malignant growth has. Yeah. Uh, nine, so yeah, it would need 19 more. 13. My max is 17 without a crit. And that's including my three. Yeah, that's including the blight, so he can take blight. So I guess for two rounds that would make sense. 
Um, I have flashing daggers, but it's very much like your uh, grape shot blast. I mm. didn't do anything good with it. So I'll go ahead and poison dagger that growth as well. Crit chance three, accuracy ten. <coughs> so and three damage plus a nice stack of blight. How much? Three. Three damage just give me two. What's that? Give me two damage. Oh, gotcha. I'm at twelve. Okay. And he's blighted now. I'm gonna throw a dagger at him. Accuracy crit, nine. Crit, 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 crit chance crit, three. Crit. Yeah. Oh, Fifteen, so baby. Fifteen damage. I got that one. Memorize. Twenty-seven. He's up at twenty-seven. Yes. Oh. He's out. He nice. Will. He will be. Very nice. Okay, she rolls crits against herself all the time, and she rolls crits <laughs> against everybody else. Okay, so it's his turn. He dies. He dies. If he dies, he dies. Yep. Okay. All right, Vestal's turn. So Vestal is... Wait, you just killed this dude, right? Yeah. I need to get over there and heal that dude. We've been through all this, and she's still calling the Crusader that dude. Hmm. Yeah, it's safer that way. I want to transfer out of this chicken <laughs> outfit. All right. Well, she can't do it at this range, so the question is, is does she want to get close, or does she want to get... The problem is, she doesn't get to attack. No, a, how's the much is the crowd control type of things? Is there a lot of crowded room stuff? No. Closest, none. furthest, none closest, room. most wounded. There aren't right. any crowded room She's people. She's going to move right in there then. Do a divine grace. Crit chance four. No, just seven health. We'll take it. Okay. So that means that this wonderful guy gets to go last. He wants to do a venomous phlegm against the furthest away. This gentleman here at a range of two. And can he move two? He can move three. Okay, so one, or one, two, really. This is all one. Oh, it is, yes. Well, he wants a range of, he wants a range of two. Okay, so I'll stay Yeah, here. he's just gonna stay there. Okay, crit chance two, accuracy eight. All right, that's six damage. Three blight for three turns. Oof. And two. Stupid phlegm. And marked for two. You're covered in phlegm. It's yeah. like glowing it's green. Glowing green. Yep. Everybody can see you across the dungeon. Hmm. That's round two now. It is now. We got this. Yeah, we got rid of one of the big guys. Yep. In the first round, which is, again, it's amazing. And that cultist is kind of wimpy. Well, he until is. he starts healing people. Right. <laughs> but I'm about to take care of that. Okay. All right, here we go. Go ahead, Crusader. Mm. This guy, Robert. Was it the last one, Bob? Bob. Yeah, yeah this one's Robert. Okay. Um, Holy Lance. He wants to be one space away, right? He does, but you're not in the right stance. So I can spend my first turn to get into the oh, right yeah, stance yeah. Mm -hmm. and then use it. 
which allows me to pull one, right? Mm -hmm. You so, want to be one space away, and then it pulls you one, yeah. Okay, I'll do that. So I'll go back to where the grave robber is. Okay. <clears throat> then for my second turn, I'll use Holy Lance, which is only eight, but I think that's all he needs because he's already got six. Oh, gotcha. So let's hope this works. Nine accuracy and crit two. Got him. Got him. So that's seven plus one because he's unholy. Eight damage plus six is 14. Okay. He's deed. He's dead. <clears throat> now technically the way that works is your side would go first. So your pull one and the space would be full and then you would do damage to him and finish him off. Mm. So you don't get to actually move forward into the space. Right. So I don't actually move back. You do move on this anyways. I yeah. do move on that, yeah. Just okay. not down there. Not down there, okay, cool. Nice setting yourself up here so you can get two of them, huh? Yup, 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 yup. All right, that means he gets to go first and he wants to smack you with his head. <laughs> same old, same old. He wants to be range of one. This Accuracy be, nine. Oh, that was the Crusader, right? Mm -hmm. So I should have. Whoa, what is that? But yeah, 31? Yep. <laughs> hey, man, I'm yeah. a donkey on the edge. And you lose one of those, uh. One of the marks. Yeah, and we burn up a venom and a venom to get rid of the rest. Yes. All right, so he's hitting the Crusader. Yes. Accuracy 11, actually 9, crit 1. Yep. So he hits. Okay. How much? 12 damage. Okay, so I'm at Death's Door. Jeez. You're going to spend your day at Death's Door, sir. Hey, that's where I'm at home. <laughs> that's where I do my best work. All right. Please help me. <laughs> please, you please come over here. <laughs> awesome. All right, he wants to do an unholy rally. This Paul does. Oh no! He gets the closest, which would be her. Crit chance two, accuracy eight. Oh, look at this. So that's four. So he's going to do six damage to her. That puts her at death's door. And it pushes her two. Now, being that, like, I'm assuming that we have to push into these spaces if we can, but two would still push her out. Right? And it doesn't get into any other spaces. Right. Well... You have to get further away from this person, right? Yep. Yeah, no, I, I agree so with that. So you can't you can't go over this way. No, I would still have to go Because it would be one range. two. And you'd still, still you two that away. would be further one, away. Two, three. This would or be the we could go away. one two. Yeah. And that's three spaces. Oh no, that's still two spaces away. Two spaces away. away. I don't if you want we can check. I mean we'll clap and all that kind of stuff. No, no that's fine. I don't need to go there. We already. She's already beat to hell. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> she's at death's door. Okay. So we've got her moved away to where it needs to be, and it pushes her that way, mm -hmm. and that's it. That's it. Okay. Okay. So it's the Vestal's turn. Oh wait, it's the Highwayman's turn. He hasn't gone yet. Mm. Okay. So the highwayman, wow, that, not, nothing's been done to either of those. No. Huh? Okay, so we're going to go one, two, because that person is not resistant to bleed. Bleed. So we're going to open vein. Okay, so accuracy eight. Accuracy chance eight. One. Crit chance one. Nice. nice. Got it. Crit. That's 12 damage. Ooh. And two bleed turns. For three turns. Not enough. You needed one more damage. Three. More, more damage. Okay. 
Right on. And you got your stress heal? I did. Okay. Vestal's next. Alright, so now we have Death's Door, Death's Door. Oh, you guys are both in the same space. See? Hmm. That guy cannot be stunned. So, really, the best thing to do... I can only heal one of you that way. She can come here, one space, and she's going to Divine Comfort both of you. That's the only way she can heal you both. Okay. So, crit chance, four. Nope. It's four health each. Flirting with Death's door. And that's her whole turn. Alright. We already do we've already done both of them have already gone, right? Yes. yes. Okay. That leaves the grave robber. So the grave robber at range. She's good at any of those spots, right? Okay. That guy can be poisoned. Yes. Yeah. Or blighted. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to do my combo. Okay. Uh, nobody has blight on. You don't have blighter. Okay. I'm going to do my combo. Um, he has three dodge, so accuracy nine, crit three. Okay, so the first one's three damage and a stack. On this guy? Yep. All right, crit chance three. Accuracy. Come on, crit, 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 crit. Accuracy eight. Nope. Uh, That's ten damage. Still pretty good. So thirteen. Okay, that is one, two, three. Round three. Round three. I think we got it. I think we'll be able to get it. <laughs> and hopefully that big, big nasty's and right hopefully there. Hopefully that big nasty's right there. I 100% agree with that statement. Hopefully he's right there. We're out of torches. We're out of shuffles. We're out of food. We're ready for this to be done. To get we to that We need big for this to be done. We need. Yeah, that's a good call. Oh. So four more. Just give me that one. And he wants to do a smash you in the face. That's 17. So he needs 11 damage. Okay, and he wants to do his same Ugh. stunning secretion. Good thing he can't stun you. That's a hit. Okay, that's 12 damage. Oh no God. stun. I'm back at death's door. I know. 12 damage, so that just, yeah, that just puts me back up to... Yep. He, uh, okay. no, let's do this. Our other partner. 32. Wants to do a one. He wants to do a venomous, venomous phlegm, phlegm against the furthest. Which is the high one. The furthest. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Which is this guy. <laughs> he wants to do it at range two. That means he would have to move here. All right. Accuracy is eight. You got anything to add accuracy? Add dodge? Nope. Okay. Accuracy is eight. These have to be used on my turn, turn, though? My turn, yes, sir. No, should have used it. No, well. Woulda, shoulda, coulda. What's the, uh... Accuracy is eight. Great chance, two. Eight. Oh, that's with this? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> What in the world? We'll take it. Oh my gosh. Miss! <laughs> You're ridiculous. Alright. <laughs> Highwaymen's first. Alright. Highwaymen. Holy uh, crap. Let's see. Highwaymen can... Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. There is 12 on that. And we can just go ahead and... Shoot it. Oh, he should have. Uh, was he was supposed to take two? He should have slid? Yeah. For two. Wow, I can't believe he missed and he wanted to go in the furthest. Okay. 
Alright, so... You gotta finish him. I could technically finish him, you mean? Or finish mm -hmm. that dude over there. Finish the one next to you. That's... We got three turns still. Nobody's gone yet. They've both gone this round already. So. Um, but let's see. He's got 17, so he needs 11 damage <clears throat> put on him. Mm. Um, and you guys can probably do that. So I just need to focus on this dude and take him out. Yep. Um, and he's at 14. He only needs he only needs one damage. Right. I don't know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. We're gonna do a uh, pistol shot three then. Okay. Dodge of three. Eight accuracy. Got it. One, two, yeah. So, um, nine damage. Dead. Yeah, he's dead. Wow. Okay. <coughs> All right, Crusaders. That next. was my. Oh, that was one action. That was one action. It yeah. Sure was. So, um, I'll. Go one, two, three, just in case. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay. Crusader's next, which is nice because then I'll oh, be able Crusader's to heal the next. whole room. Okay. Uh, Crusader is next. The Crusader, how much damage does he He needs 11, is what we said, right? Mm -hmm. So. We don't really want you to kill him. We don't? Mm mm. We want the Vestal to heal that room first. So we'll zealously accuse him. Sure. I'll heal myself. And then zealously accuse. Yeah. Alright, so... That's good. Crit. Nice. And that is stress relief for all three of us. Yep. Boom, boom. And then I will zealously accuse... Um, that's ten, three, seven, so that's a hit, and so okay. that's six damage on him. Gee, what are you doing there? Six, six damage, yeah. Okay. Twenty-three. Mm-hmm. one more damage to die. Alright, that's your turn. Well, he needs one more damage to blow right. out. Yep. Alright, so the Vestal's turn. She can heal the whole room. Divine Comfort, crit chance 4, come on, can I just try again, that's uh, 4 heal each, 4 each, 4 each, and then she's going to Divine Grace, crit chance 4 against the Crusader, darn it, 7 more for him. That's her turn. And the grave robber. Oh, you didn't even get that because of that miss. That's awesome. Okay. All right. So he just needs the 23. He just needs one damage. So. All right. Poison dart. That's ten. Let's just let's miss. <laughs> <laughs> Great. All right. I'm poison dart again. Come. So everybody gets a stress relief, all three of us, and he takes three damage, plus a blight. So that's it, right? Oh no, that's 23, 26, he's not dead. Yeah. <coughs> okay. That's round three. Round, round four. four. It's not bad. No. If we if we get it to where we can all go first. First, that'd be awesome. That would be great. Hi, Hi man. man. Is he fully healed? Yes, he is. Wow. Yeah. 
so I mean there's there's not really a whole lot that he can do he doesn't have the ability to uh, I know this is dumb but heal I'm gonna move him to the end of the thing so we can push the Vesta forward oh well, it won't matter can't get it in front of the Crusader mm -mm. I keep thinking that it won't matter because he'll already be yeah done. but I mean the high women can't really do anything no nope. so unless you want me to shoot him but then no yeah. yeah, might as well just hang out. I'll just chill. Okay. Crusader. Crusader can heal. Would be nice to get. He's got some buff cards. Hmm. Looks like it'd be nice to get a couple of those buff cards. Okay, out. Crusader's gonna heal. Uh, which works. Um, it is only three, though. That's his turn? Mm-hmm. Well, no, I'm going to also, uh... Oh, should I? What? Use this recovery charm. Oh. So, what um, do you have to do to flip it back over? You gotta <coughs> take a little stress? Yeah, you, you gotta should take use a little stress, yeah. Why not? Yeah. It's nine more health? Yep. You get rid of that mark too, right? Yep. So I'm feeling much better. Nice. Okay, and he's gonna finish himself off. He's out. He's like, no more healing, guys. <laughs> Stop. You still got a good dungeon to go through. We need you defeated. Okay. All right. So are we gonna reorder this thing? Yeah, we should. You're gonna stay there in the second. You're gonna stay. You um, on third. Um, no, second doesn't really help me much. Well, I mean, which one does your holy lance? Holy lance does. Oh, from uh, the back third. There. Yeah. You do that. Yep. Why not? Let's do that. Let's shot. try something else. Okay. So this is done. All right. So we have a curio. One of us has to take it. So probably the vestal. So she doesn't get beat up a lot. S sure. She's, yeah. uh, how's she doing on health? Just full? Yep. It's great robber's the one that's beat up. Oh, uh, it's another bookshelf. She can't stay away from those stupid books. No. Stress. She's clumsy. She gets uh, bleed for three turns. When she gets hit, when she takes damage, she gets a debuff. She gets bleed for two turns. She also gets a positive quirk. Oh, nice. Here, you can have one back. She's resistant. Oh, okay. And she gets a positive quirk, not a virtue. Photomania. When the light goes up, she loses a stress. So if she loses a stress when the light goes up, and she takes a stress when the light goes up. They're a match made in heaven. <laughs> okay. And I don't care about that two bleed, right? So this goes away. And now we gotta take a stress. Mm-hmm. Bam, bam. Let's see if... Come on. It's not in, is it? It's not. <laughs> okay. So then we, so we gotta are travel back one here. stress to move back. Yep. One stress to move back. We're doing good. And then we got a roll to go there. We got a roll to go forward. Yep. What is all this? That's health off of that. Oh, dude. okay. That's damage to the okay, Crusader. Crusader. <laughs> yes! Highwaymen. Ugh. All right. Blockade. So nothing for the Highwaymen. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, nothing for the Crusader. So the blockade, uh, blockade is three stress, three damage. Three stress. This is two stress. Three. And three damage? Yeah. And Vesta wants another bookshelf, please. <laughs> yes. No, you get an altar of light. She gets a blight for three turns. You get blight for three turns. We get five bucks. Oh man, if oh, we make wow. it back, we're going well. Positive quirk. Jeez. So you're thick blooded. So when I get a blight, can I get that first? Let's see. <laughs> Honestly, I just don't know who's blighting. We haven't really been blighted much. Kind of like that trap one. I think I'm just gonna let it go. You also get a, a provision dice. 
Wow, that's a good one. Yeah, it was. Altar of light. Oh! Anything we want. A torch or a shovel. It's another curio room. Just torch, yeah. Okay. Because we can burn it. Mm -hmm. If, I mean, yep. you know, or whatever. At the end, really whatever. Need. But what we really need you to do right now is to roll a six through ten. Yep. I said you on <laughs> Give me that, Ed. Get back. <laughs> Alright. Six one, to ten, man. Come one on, you got to five is a combat. Six to ten. What in the world? <laughs> See, I told you. <laughs> oh. Another stinking combat, dude. Man. Uh. Three. Eldritch Tower Chamber. Eldritch Power Chamber, I mean. Oh, there you go. Eldritch Power Chamber. Has a big old black square in the middle of it. There yep. she blows. Wow, and look at that. The thing right there. All right, let's see here. Uh, when monsters need to move into reach distance, they always move towards a uh, this area. If oh. a monster ends its turn in this area, heroes take five damage each. All of us? That's what it says. Heroes when take monsters need to move five into damage reach distance, each. They always move towards that area. Oh, what? Oh, only when they're moving into reach, though. Yes. Okay. All right. We do have some. The uh, grave robber does have some things to go look at. Mm. Nice. Some bling, needy bling. Defensive growth. And that's it, I think. An ascendant brawler. The grave robber isn't over here. The grave robber's over here. Ooh. Because the crusader's over Ooh. here. Ooh. All right. We got this guy. Oh, we also have. Look at that guy's claws, man. Oh, one of those. The one ascendant, of those ascendant brawler. brawlers. Mm. The brawler ascendant on brawler is here. Another defensive growth. So, wait. What? There's two defend. Yeah, two, two defensive. Man, guns. that ain't right, bro. Well, uh, when you put a shield on, or put an armor on that guy, please. Yes. I'll put. And that would be um, this one here. That one there. And that one there. Ooh. And a cultist priest. Oh, holy. Okay. All right, where's the priest go? The priest is over here. All the other tentacly things here. Yeah, he's that one that's right there by your hand. No, that's the... No, no. I put him away. Holy macaroni. Okay. Um... Oh, before that, uh, I was thinking I'm going to use one of these before when we were traveling to get rid of that light. Man, look at that dungeon. We have decimated that thing. What dungeon? <laughs> That's exactly right. Okay. <laughs> the Ascendant Brawler gets to go first. <laughs> oh, no. He's like, you remember all them dudes you killed? <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, he doesn't even want to roll. He just wants a Ren for the new gods. Wait, he used to be Ren for the old gods or the little guys. Ren yeah. for the new gods. Now he's got his eyes on the future. Against the closest. And that would be... That Me. would be him. Wherever <laughs> he goes! Not, yep, it's exactly right. He gets tagged! Alright, accuracy's 10, so accuracy's 8, crit chance 2. And that is a hit. Yep. Okay, so that is six damage. Alright. That is two bleed for three turns. That is a... you got the bleed. Oh, that's right, I do. Two bleed for three turns, you mm -hmm. said? Mm-hmm. Ugh. That's a debuff of one, which I don't think you have to worry about. No, I'm resistant to that. Yep. 
So, and then that pulls him into there. I'm about to leave anyway. <laughs> the vest will take care of your butt. If he ends his, if what, how's that turn? If, he, if, if the round ends and he's still there, we all take five? No, no. If a monster ends its turn in this area, heroes take five each. Oh, well, there you go. So we all take five damage. Yeah, because this was hard. It wasn't hard enough as it is, right? Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez Louise, man. All right. The cultist priest who we know and love. Misses. No, he no. wants to give no, the he misses. finger. He wants to, oh, not the finger. <laughs> to the furthest. All right, so that is to the not me. man. All right. He I, gave the finger to the highwayman last time. <laughs> he doesn't <laughs> like that guy. <laughs> All right, accuracy 11, accuracy 8, crit chance 3. Accuracy 8, crit chance 3. Oh my gosh. That is a crit. So both the Highwaymen and Grave Robber take a stress. Um, that just pissed me off. Uh oh. Alright. You roll a... Oh, that's right. I roll a... Wait a second. What does that see? Is if it's uh, greater than... It's... It's... Uh... It's minus... Oh, never mind. Yeah. Do when you flip it over. Right. I thought it was... Okay. So a one or a two. It's a two. A two? Look at that. So shuffle those virtues, because that top one's the one that I just put on there. Nice. He goes virtuous. Of all things. We never thought the highwayman would make it, but he went virtuous. Okay. Because he's seen the error of the art, uh, the uh, abhorrent way. Okay. Well, he also takes 15 damage. Oh, my gosh. But he's courageous. At the start of your turn, well, which is cool, if I get a roll, if I roll a one to three, everybody heals yeah. the stress. Yeah. So that's cool. Okay, fifteen damage. Oh my goodness. That puts me. Guess what? Nice. Death Back store. at death store. Fifteen damage. Three bleed for two turns because of your resistance. Oh my gosh. Three bleed for two turns. Yeah. And two more stress. Is it still too easy, folks? <laughs> it's something. Oh, jeez. Okay. Why? I don't know why. Why do I you just... not want us to go? I tell you, I want them to go first, get it out of the way, get out of their system. He wants to bolster the closest Wait, he enemy. hasn't gone That's yet. him. I just, uh, he's got a token okay, on gotcha, him, gotcha, so gotcha, I just gotcha. was reading off understood, of this understood. one. Understood, understood. He wants to bolster, bolster the closest enemy. So that would be him. Should it be him or him? Right. Which one's in the, it's him. Yeah. Because he's in the stance with a plus three. I think it's him a buff of plus three. Ugh. That's it. Yeah. I'm going to hold on to this card because I'm going to need it in a minute. Highwayman gets to go. Oh wait, we get to go now? Yeah, it's your turn. Wake up. So I get to bleed for three, <laughs> which is gonna make me roll this die again. It sure is. So we might lose the highwayman Before you right do here. that, roll that. <laughs> Give everybody a stress relief. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Come on. No, oh, fine. no stress relief for you. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh boy. You did it. Oh boy. Okay. Alright, so highwaymen here. What's our most You wanna bandage this lethal... other three or do you care? Uh actually I need to get off yes. I need to do that. And can I use some of those other ones to get off death's door? Yeah, you could use one to heal one. Heal one? Yeah, let's do that. Who's gonna go next? Oh yeah, that next well, guy maybe. I, I yeah, haven't yeah. gone yet, so. All right. Um, well, none of these guys are gonna. This guy's not gonna attack you. Is what I'm saying. So okay. as long as. So these two are the problems. Yeah. These guys are just. But buffing I can't these get over dudes. there to heal. Is the problem. Right. Okay. Right so. On. Uh, and these guys are immune to bleed or just. They resistant? are resistant to bleed. And they have 17. So. 
Um, but if you could get there, I can heal you. Yeah, I will. One, two, and we'll open vein. Okay. So it's 11, uh, 9, yep. with a crit chance of 1. So it hits 7 damage. Yes. That's against the one I got in my hand. Yeah. You just put it over there. 7 damage, and he gets. Um, they're so, resistant, so two. Two bleed for two turns? Yeah. Nice. Okay. No, well, that's seven of his 17. Uh, that's both of my turns, so that's the highwayman. Alright, it's his turn next. Four. He wants to do a ritual. A rich. Ritual, ritual, yeah, a ritualic restoration. Restoration. Oh, he wants man, to do it against the heal. closest. Nobody's taken damage yet, so. Ah, interesting. So, that means he doesn't do it at all. He's the only one that takes damage. Yep. That has taken damage, rather. <clears throat> yeah, it's a range of one, so he can't do it himself. Okay. All right. So that means the rest of us. So the grave robber's next. She's at 16 health. And she is... This guy's got 17 health total. Alright, I'm just going to unload on him. Poison darts first. Um, so that's a hit for 3 damage. On this guy? Mm-hmm. What's this? And then she's going to throw a dagger. Accuracy. What's if there? If you crit, he's dead. Nine. If you don't crit, he dies when he activates. I think so. Okay. Seven. So, so that's uh, seven, ten damage. Yeah. He's got 13. He'll take four at the beginning of his turn and die. Okay. So he's, he's out of there. Okay. Crusader's <laughs> next. All right. Now here's the problem that I'm foreseeing. I'm about to leave the Vestal alone. Uh -huh. Yeah, who cares? It'll be all right. What's the worst thing that can happen? She'll she died. <laughs> She'll be okay. She'll be the closest for once. Because I'm about to use my Holy Lance uh -huh. against this dude. Do it. And then smite him uh, as well. Rock on. So. I'm on board. <clears throat> all right. So Holy Lance is... Uh, um, yeah, that'll pull me forward. One. Yep, yep, yep. I did it right. Okay. So here we go. Uh, ah, accuracy nine. That's a six. That's a six. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um... Doesn't help. What's that? Nothing helps. Nothing helps. Nothing helps. Mm. No accuracy buff. Mm -mm. Nope, I don't have it. I don't have it. So, just gotta do a six. Six with a crit chance of two. Six with a crit chance. Of six. Six with a crit chance of six? No, I'm not in. Uh, never mind. I'm not in the aggressive stance. I can't oh. use that right now. I was about to say, right I, if I'm going to hit, I'm going to hit. But no, can't do it. All right, six with a crit chance of two. Hit! Okay. That's good. So that's seven damage. Okay. That pulls you forward. Pulls me forward one. One. Oops. And then. Um, what do you think? Stunning blow or smite three? Smite three is eleven more damage if I hit. Uh, What's your accuracy of stunning blows? The question. Eleven and ten, so it's not that big of a difference. You can stun him. Stun him for two turns, yeah. Or, yeah. That gives us time to work on him. Mm -hmm. This guy really is uh, worrying me, though. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Um, 
Yeah, she can't attack him because she's in the same space. Most of her stuff is ranged, unfortunately. Mm. So she would uh, be. The, uh, okay. I'll so uh, I mm. could stun him, maybe. Dazzling lights, but. One turn. Okay, then I'll just uh, focus on damage. Uh, smite 3, accuracy 11, so accuracy 8. Uh, crit 2. Uh, he hits. It's 11 more damage. Okay. That puts him at uh, 18? Yep. So he only okay. needs 8 more that damage. Means 8 more damage. Alright. Okay. So then that would mean Grave Robbers next. Yeah. No. Well, it depends, yeah. No, but... Wait a second, what did we do there? That means... Oh, because you moved up. I'm sorry. I pulled them. My bad. So, Highwayman went, Grave Robber went, Crusader went, moved forward. So, Vestal's last in yes. the turn. Sorry, guys. <laughs> getting ahead of myself. Or getting... Just watching. So, one damage from a bleed. Alright, so Vestal's turn. So she is going to... She's going to heal. I should have taken two more damage. Okay. She's going to heal the Highwayman. With Divine Grace. Actually, she better Dazzling Light this guy first. Just in case. Well, we'll see what happens. But Accuracy 7, Crit Chance 2... I might just do it anyways, but that's a crit. Yes. She moves up. She does only five damage to him. But she stuns him and she raises our torch by this one. Dude? Yep. Five damage? Mm-hmm. She stuns him. And she raises our torch level by one, which she's nocturnal, so it increases her stress. And she's photomanic, so. It decreases her stress. 23 damage. 23 out of 26, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, then the last one, I will heal a highwayman with Divine Grace. Crit chance 4. So just 7 health. Um, Man, I got all the stuff over here. Yeah, well, no, what, what's happening is, is that I'm using it for these two guys that are yeah. taking a whole sh <laughs> crap ton of damage. <laughs> Well, and I'm using it for these guys. I keep, here. I keep picking them all up. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so uh, seven, seven. Yeah, he, he had twenty-one, I think. Yeah, so. he did. He had twenty-one, so 14. that needs needs to be a fourteen, right? All right. Now we're back. Round two. Bam. Okay, here we go. Okay. Yeah, this is what I didn't want to happen. Yeah. She, he's going to get a plus one crit. going to get a plus one crit. He is aggressive stance. He's going to run for the old gods against the closest, which is her. The new gods. The new gods, I'm sorry. Against her, mm -hmm. but he wants to be one space away. Where do we want to stick him? Do we want to stick him in here? No. Stick him in here. Oh, the, the, uh, the combo doesn't work. Um, oh, well, you can get two Thwax, one against each. Yep. Let's do that. Okay. As long as they don't, I mean, All right. there's going to be chances for them to go between. So his them. accuracy is 10, so accuracy 8, crit chance 2 against the Vestal. Oof. That is a miss. Crap. What? Oh, missed. against the Vestal. Against yes, the Vestal. You're correct. He just missed the Vestal. That's awesome. Alright. Highwayman? I flipped that over. Yes, Highwayman anyways. Well, mm -hmm. I drew a card. That works. Um, this is the one that doesn't have... So this has 7 damage on it, so it, it needs 10. Um... He's got a bleed of two. He's got so a bleed of two. So if I smack him with needs an eight. If I smack him with an open vein, um, oh, yeah. that'll be fourteen plus four more on his turn. So it'll be enough to kill him. 
Because they'll have another stack yeah, of two. Have another on. stack of two. Um, right on. Accuracy nine, crit chance one. Yeah. Oh, hell. Yeah. Try again. Try number two. Oh, that's just not cool. That is not cool at all. Why would I roll two tens in a row <laughs> I don't know. when my accuracy is a nine to hit? I don't know. <sighs> that one wasn't good. Okay. This guy is going to do nothing. Stunned. Oh, yeah, no. Okay. Crusader's next. Crusader. All right, Crusader is going to open up a can. Uh, was it 23? So I need to do three damage to him and, and then attack the other dude. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, let's see. I'll do a... Hmm. I think what I'll do is... Um, is that Cultist Brawler? No, he's not. Okay. Oh, to the stun? Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do... Um... <clears throat> I'll do a um... Smite 3 against the guy that we need to hit to make sure he dies. Okay. So that's uh, accuracy 8, crit chance 2. So he's dead. Okay. Um, and then that person moves up, and that person moves up. All right, the priest is out. And then, um, we'll do a stunning blow on this guy, which is accuracy seven. Uh, crit chance one. Nice. Crit. So that's nine damage. Um, don't have any yet. Two, three, four. So nine damage on him. And, and he's stunned for two turns. And you get resilience, so you get two. Hmm. Um, Every time you get a stress yeah, relief, yeah, you get another one. Right on. Nice. That's that. <clears throat> okay. All right, grave robber. Mm -hmm. This guy is still gonna die, right? Mm, that guy's yes. now stunned. Although I don't have line of sight, anyways. This new needs needs attention. Okay. I mean, uh, on the immediate front. How much is he? He's at seven. He's at seven out of seventeen. Eight, so nine, ten. Oh, eight, so nine, he, yeah. take. Uh, he has seven, eight, nine, so he'll take, he needs eight damage if you, if we want him to die this turn. When he activates. He needs eight damage. Mm -mm -mm. That's not, uh, that is not in my forte, or in my, uh, wheelhouse. Well, for the grave that. power? What are you, crazy? No. Oh, you're way over there. Is what I'm way over know. here. So I'm going to have to move one, actually I'm going to move one, two, three, mm -hmm. and then, well, even if, and I'm going to do the poison dagger, um, well, it's only going to do, if, huh? you, if you do poison dagger, that'll put another, I'm going to put four on him, it'll, be, put four it'll be seven, blight. so I can do seven damage, I have nope. a quick chance of three. Huh? You, can still, you can still get him though, because he's already got two on here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he's at seven, eight, nine, he needs eight total, and I'm going to end up at seven total, giving him seven, so it'll last one more round possibly, unless I get a crit. Crit chance is three though. The other one's the same, except for he doesn't get the... Continuous bleed or continuous damage. Mm -hmm. So, so that's just three damage plus the blight. That just guarantees that he dies in two rounds, no matter what. Yeah. Okay. And Vestal's next. So. How's everybody's health doing? Not so good. 
<laughs> Why would you think any different? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. That is a good question. I am going to fill the grave robber with, wait. That one's gonna die. I could make him die on his turn so he doesn't get to activate, right? That's what we want. Mm -hmm. um, so before I heal the grave robber, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm almost tempted to do dazzling lights and raise that up so we get the dodge. Um, <laughs> it seems yeah. like the extra dodge would be nice. It would be. Alright. That would give him a three, him a four. I'm gonna dazzling lights. What's their. What's their. Uh, Two. Yeah. Okay. So eight, eight accuracy crit chance two. I got to bleed for one. Okay. So that's a hit for three damage. It's gonna push our light up to five. Um, that means he's gonna die on his turn. So those two are gonna die on their turn. This guy's stunned. So then I can just heal. What do you want to heal more? Uh, I mean, I've still got bleed on him, so maybe the Crusader. Actually, I got 16 here. I'm going to heal the Grave Robber. Okay. Sorry. Still, no, you're still fine. Still the back. Divine Grace on the Grave Robber. Three. That's a crit, isn't it? That's a crit. Yeah. So that's one there and one there. Grave Robber's been, like, teetering on the edge. for. Mm -hmm. So that's nine for the Grave Robber. That's her turn. Mm. Okay. So, monster number two. He's gonna die. Yep. That's this dude. Yep. Oh. And this guy, too, is gonna be next. Mm hmm. The end of round two. That's how you take care of them suckers. Yeah. <laughs> With bleed and blight. Now we're going into round three. We're going into round three, and he is done. <coughs> so two we rounds. got we got we got chance to get some of this stuff. We got two rounds to try to catch up here. Mm -hmm. So. I don't know why I'm shuffling. <laughs> Highwayman. Highwayman first. E every day you're shuffling, bro. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go one, two, three. From one, one turn, second turn. All right. We need provisions or we need money? Man. We need provisions, don't we? It's a provision. You get a pick, too. So we need a shovel. Right? Yeah. That's my turn. Okay. All right. <clears throat> okay. And then Crusader would go. Mm. You could thump him for one. 22. He's at nine of 22 right now. Nine of 22? Yep. Okay. Um. You're going to bleed. I do. And then we're surviving. Do you want me to hit him hard, like with Smite Three? What the? Can you kill him with that? No, you can kill him with that. If I crit, I will. Yeah. So I don't want blow? you to kill him. <laughs> we do not want you to kill him. Stunning blow, accuracy seven, I believe, because he's got a yep three. Is that right? I think so. So seven. Okay. That's a hit. So five, and he's stunned for two more turns. All right. So he ain't doing nothing. You add a five to it? I did. Okay. Put him at 14. And he's stunned for two more. Although mm -hmm. I don't know why it would matter. It, well, it, it wouldn't. It's actually, it doesn't actually stack, so mm -hmm. it's still two turns. Right. Okay. And then. 
Oh, uh, oh, oh. That was only one. I'll heal. Hold on a second. No, that's just really good. Heal. Three. Hey, could you do me a favor? What? Could you roll this courageous for that guy? Because I need stress relief. <laughs> <laughs> All right, courageous. Oh, nope. Never mind. Don't be helpful then. I won't. Okay. All right. Grave robber's turn. She's gonna go get out of my space. Uh, do we pick another one? Yeah, I think we need it at this point. What is it? Torch we've or got, shovel? We've got a lot of uh, cash. I think we. Yeah. We're gonna use one on the curio. Yep. I hope we have enough cash for now. I think we will. All right. Well, that will be her turn. His turn. Lose a stun. A stun. And a buff. And that's round four. Or no, the vessel. The vessel gets to go. Yeah. So she gets to. Why don't you heal Grave Robber and Highwayman since they're both in the same spot? And she has to move. All right. She's going to use Divine Comfort on those two. Crit chance four. Yes. A crit. That's five each. And it's also four for her. So that's pretty good. 14 heal. Yep. Okay. And that was her turn. Round so four. Now we are on to round four. Uh, one of the cool things, it seems strange, but one of the cool things I'm starting to see is this almost kind of, be, when you're in a situation like this, it almost becomes like a, a, a thing where you're, it becomes, you're, you're, you're kind of, this is almost an economy. Yeah, exactly. Where yeah, you're, sure. you're not just wanting to kill this guy and move on. Yeah. How do you get the best effect out of all of your heroes and still be able to take the guy out? You have four turns to do it in. It's not a race. Yeah. It's an economy. But we did that early on in round, we did. in round one or something like that where we left him alive and he smacked us for a, a crit. Yes, and, so. that's true. So it, it, it's still a risk. Well, the stuns are nice. Your your rate of return, though, yep. on on doing that is, is still pretty high. Yep. All right, are we ready to knock yeah, this guy out? Yeah, All right, so I'll, I'll do... Uh, He's at 14 and 22, so he needs... Seven? Eight. Eight. Math is good. <laughs> Stay in school, kids. Stay in school, kids. So I'll go one, two. No, pistol shot is nine. And it's at a range of two, so we'll just do that. Right. So... Crit chance two. Eight. Oh, crit chance one. We yeah. have higher dodge right now. Okay. I was like... <laughs> that's need, three tens in a that's row. That's three tens, I know. You need to clean the gun. Got him. It's nine damage. Okay. You need to clean it. <laughs> Every once in a while. Now, does this bleed stay around? Yep. Can I use a... In the off chance? One. Can I... Yeah. Can I get rid That's of it? Two. Yep. Okay. Alright. We did it. We got a curio, right? Is it a curio? Yes. Alright, who's going to take that? Um, we've got a torch to burn for we it. We do. And so, the highwaymen take it. Just okay, highwaymen will take it. We burn this. Up. No, 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 no. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Stupid Iron Maiden. Mm -hmm. You climb inside. Hey, I'm going to go in here and look around. <laughs> Don't close the door on me next time. Good idea, dummy. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, wait a minute. I should have rolled this at the beginning of a high women's turn. Uh, hey, we all get it. And the Crusader actually gets two because nice. of his resiliency. So. I'm telling you, this, she's just been teetering right there on the edge for like <clears throat> ever. All right. So now we're going to scout. Yes, we are. Is <laughs> so. <laughs> oh my goodness! A stupid trap. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's gonna be ten rooms dealt with by the time we get done. Okay. All right. Well, we're we going down to the combat room, right? Mm -hmm. Crusader. Blockade. Man. Highwayman. 
hung hungry. All right. So blockades so, the shovel. Okay. Irieman is gonna take six damage. Six damage. Yeah, his tummy is grumbling. He has not eaten for a while now. We've been down here for like three days. Uh. Okay. She is going to let our torch drop down one. And this is going to go to Mercurio. Can I have a Curio, please? I think this Vestal has seen so many Curios. Hey, confession, confession food. food. All bad, too. Stress, quirks, blight, and disease. I don't want it. Look at this. We got two provisions left. And we're going into a combat room. Oh, jeez Louise. Wow. What a dungeon. Man. Okay. The teleporters. Oh, oh they're no. They're all not connected. Okay. It's Characters rooms. can teleport between the red burst areas by spending one move and gaining one stress if they're heroes. Wait, what? So it's we can teleport, but they says, cannot? Characters can teleport oh. between areas by spending one move and gaining one stress if they're heroes. So the stress mm. is if they're heroes. Yep. The other guys can do it for free because this is their free. elevator system. They know what's going on. We don't. Nobody goes into these. Have anybody ever played Don't Starve? You don't go into those because they are very stressful. Oh dear. Okay, let's see. Highwayman is would actually. Would we have? Would you have wanted to go back here before we came in? Uh, or do you care? I mean, it's up to you. I, I, I. Uh, after knowing that this room is coming up, I'm definitely not going to do it. Oh. But. That's fine. I should have made that decision beforehand. That's all right. So you get bored being in the back. Crusader and Highwayman is right there. I couldn't see it because of the player. Well, everybody gets their own individual enemy, and <clears throat> furthest and closest are all going to be in the same zone. So, mm-hmm. Mm okay, right? Isn't this lovely? Isn't this a wonderful board? Everybody gets. So who gets the polyp? Mm. Uh, the grape opera does. <laughs> okay. Who gets the berserker? The brawler. The the what? The brawler. Well, that the kinda, crusader does. That kind of fits. <laughs> All right. Who gets the other brawler? <gasps> no. Why do you hate us? <laughs> I do not. All right, the first one will have the the tag on him. Okay, the first one will have the tag. Yeah. We also have some chests here. One more chest here. I know, I know. I'm. Oh, you got it. You keep you keep interrupting me. All right. That puts the cultist. Where's that little dude? Oh, well, that's fitting. <laughs> right. He's going to whoop his butt. <laughs> That's all I know. All right. Look at this, everybody. One for one. Run, run, run. Yeah. Well, both of my guys... <laughs> what is this? Further, furtherance of the fate. Both of my guys got the most hit-pointed persons out there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, well. Uh Okay. This is funny. This is not that funny. <laughs> this Kinda guy funny. wants to rend the new gods on that crusader. So he wants to stay where he's at. Crit chance two. Accuracy eight. Oh we did. Yeah. Crit, crit chance two, accuracy eight. Yeah. Modified, yeah. How much does the damage do? Six plus bleed plus slow down plus debuff, but you don't take a debuff. So six plus bleed. 
Well, accuracy, the speed stone doesn't really help that much here. Got it. Okay. That's a hit. That's a hit. Six damage. And two bleed for three turns. So please that. Six and then twenty-two again. Man. Yep. Just float right there. Okay. It's your turn. Highwayman? Crusader. Or er, er, no, Highwayman, Highwayman, yeah. No. Guess I'm going to uh, go in and um, oh, moving right in. Yep, hanging out. Might as well. Ain't uh, much of a range character open anymore. Vein. Eleven. Well, it's because <laughs> next turn I'm going to use point blank shot, which is going to push me one away, nice. and then I'll pistol oh, shot like three shot. and there. So I'm. Just trying to use my my character the way he's yeah. meant to be used because now I can use this. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Uh, open vein two accuracy eleven. Oh no, it's not. Dang it. It's cat. Uh, it's a crit. Just a crit one. So, yeah. um, that's uh, seven. But he gets uh two round uh three rounds of bleed two. So. I got the seven for him. Okay. That's seven of his twenty-two. That's your turn, right? Yeah, because I moved in and then hit. All right. Crusader's next. Crusader. Okay, he's in the defensive stance. So I think we're going to. Um... They're not unholy, are they? They're eldritch. This eldritch. is the only guy that's unholy. Okay. Uh, and if he puts that shield up, I have to attack him. Has he gone yet? He has yes. gone. That's right. So, I'm going to move in. And then, um, is he resistant? No, he's not. No. Like I'm reading your mind. Uh, stunning blow. <clears throat> All right, accuracy seven. Crit chance one. Then, Ooh, nice. Oh well, five damage, and he's stunned for two turns. Nice. So he's effectively out of the out of the. Yep. Grave robber gets to go. Okay. So well, this thing is resistant to blight. But I don't care. Yeah. Because you even if it is blighted, you still get to do more mm -hmm. damage. And a poison dart. Accuracy 9. Good chance 3. Alright. So 3 damage. Plus a 2 stack. So. And then throw my dagger. Accuracy 8. Good chance 3. Darn it. So that's 10 more damage. Is it thirteen out yeah, he's of? Dead. Oh, he's dead. When he when his turn yep. comes up, he's dead. Right on. Man, she's she's awesome. I'm sorry, she she's is awesome. awesome. Yeah, you know, truth is, is she's one of my favorite ones in the video. game. In the video game mm -hmm. too. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. Yep. You start out in the video game with a highwayman and a crusader. Mm -hmm. That's your kind of starting party before you build on to them. Yeah. And I always swap swap the highwayman out for a grave robber fairly quickly. Really? Yeah. Alright, Vestal's turn. Look at that. So, Vestal can't come heal, well, can come heal you, but he's okay right now because he's yeah, got stun. So really what the Vestal's going to do is... Judgment. Yeah. Although, can he be stunned? No. Yes. He has no immunities and no resistances. And how much health? Fourteen. Fourteen. That's going to take her three rounds just to kill him, though. Three days. <laughs> okay. Well, first thing she'll do is Dazzling Light, then. What is his um, zero dodge? So, accuracy is ten, crit chance two. 
Okay, so that's a hit for three damage. He's stunned for a turn. And our light goes back up to give us that extra dodge. So that's number one. So number two, she's going to do judgment on him. So actually she's ten, crit chance two. Oh wait, she, can't. Um, she is. Oh, I, sorry, I rolled a three. Um, or it was a three or a five. It was But uh, I was thinking I didn't have the right range, but I do. So even actually ten would have hit. So yeah. that's five more damage, and she heals for three. Not the best, but she got the light back up. Mm -hmm. She did eight damage to him and stunned it. No, this is all good. So everybody's pulling their weight. Yeah. Okay. So second brawler. So he bleeds for two more. And he wants to do... Oh, he's in the second spot. So he wants to do the same thing. Rend for the new gods against the closest... You know, so we'll move one space away, uh, which sucks for you if you're chasing him around. And his accuracy is 10, so accuracy 7, crit chance 1. Nice. Nice. He misses. Perfect. Okay. Next guy, stunned. So he just loses the stun. And the last guy dies. Man, we couldn't have planned out any better. Really? We couldn't have planned out the layout like you said either. <clears throat> nope. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. In fact, good enough that we can just walk around and pick up chests for a while. Um. Uh... Not that good? I can't see that there's a chest over there. You can't see it. Because it's through the portal. That's right. I'm going over here. I know the grave robber wouldn't take a turn to <laughs> go look through a chest no. at this point in the you, darkness. You have to trust. Trust in your team. Okay. However, misplaced that trust. <laughs> Removes a stun for that guy. That's right. <laughs> okay. So bleed for two. <clears throat> All right. So yours. I'll put... Five on. Actually, uh, let's just make that ten. So Eleven. Eleven. Yeah. So he's halfway. Half dead. And then he is going to want to do the same thing. Run for the new gods. <coughs> accuracy is seven. Oh, accuracy is actually six. Still hits because yeah. of our torch. Right. Uh, so, so that's ten damage. Owie! Oh, Death's door. Death's door. Man. <laughs> well, the next part you're not going to like. Why? A bleed. How much? Two for two turns, since you have a resistance. And a debuff for one turn. Holy mackerel, I should have come over and healed that guy. Been That's playing on all this right. Alright, well, the last guy. And he wants to do, let's see what he's got. He wants to do four. Uh, top one. one? Top one, yeah. So he's just going to buff the closest Flesh person. Flesh wall, no, he's going to give himself a shield. That's right. Which means I can't leave, I need to attack him. Yep. All right, so Highwayman's first. No, no, Highwayman's next. Since all three of those people are gone. Mm -hmm. Highwayman's next. So, so Highwayman bleeds. Yeah. And we might be saying goodbye to the Highwayman. And he is. <laughs> Deed! Boom! The Highwayman is dead. The Highwayman has passed. Oh, no! He is gone. All right. Mm. He's out. Ching! For his last turn, I didn't do this. Uh huh. Still didn't work. Still didn't so work. Just for our highwayman is gone. Highwayman oh, 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 has look at bit that. the dust. That yes. means we have to face this dude. No. With just three dudes. This. No, we have to pull somebody in. We have to. We have to. If we, in fact, we have two people at the stagecoach. If you were ever to pull one in and you couldn't, 
then you lose. No, so, but what I'm saying is, is that's at the Hamlet, though. No. As soon as the dungeon, as soon as this battle's over, you, got it. You have to pull another person. Got it. Okay. I beg you, deliver our family from the ravenous clutching shadow of the darkest dungeon. <laughs>